And we're live. Hello, hello. My name is Garrick, and tonight we're sampling 1828 by JC Lawrence. Uh, and nobody, nobody publishes it. He put it out for Creative Commons. Uh, joining us tonight are Pat. Hello. Alan. Hello. Emu. Good morning. And Lily. Howdy, howdy. Uh, yeah, none of us have any idea what we're doing. I have read the rules a couple times now. Uh, Lily's played on Dot Games, apparently, but that doesn't mean she knows what she's doing. So... I definitely do not know what I'm doing if I played on Dot Games. <laughs> so we're going to fumble our way through this and uh, see how it goes. Um, at its heart, it is, it is 1830. Like, like you, can, you can see that there's a lot of 1830 there. 1830 privates, 1830 map. Uh, but there's more, and I think that's pretty much the summary or the tagline of 1828. It's 1830, but with more of everything. Uh, so <laughs> why do I feel like we'd be more prepared for this if we had ever done any of the expansions for 1830? You know, the the conception of this game was actually that J.C. Lawrence was working on sort of making a, a balanced version of 1830 with all of the expansions thrown in together. Because like if you, if you look at the expansions, Coalfields is an expansion, this stuff over here is an expansion, uh, there's stuff that changes over here. I don't think this is an expansion. I think this is all JC 1828. But, but originally the idea of this was to make all the expansions work well together, and it turned into its own game. Hmm. But anyway, uh, right off the top, I should say, there is no certificate limit in this game. Yep. Oh. Yep. Oh. Uh, I was going to ask where that was. Yeah, it's nowhere. There's no cert limit. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, there's also no bank limit. There's no bank pool. The game will go forever, uh, and we will be playing this for the rest of our lives. No, there are a few game end triggers, but none of them are related to draining the bank. Uh, now's probably a good time to mention what they are. One of them, amusingly, is everyone agreeing to end the game. I mentioned this off stream and we had our laugh, but I'm saying it for stream now. Uh, if everyone agrees to end the game, then you're allowed to end it. The rules, the rules are so lenient as to allow it. Uh, next, if any player bankrupts, the game ends immediately. <laughs> like now, Emu. <laughs> like now, this is a short stream. Have a great night. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, second is if anyone bankrupts. Third is if anybody hits a $500 value share. Uh, if that happens during a stock round, then the game will end immediately. If it happens during an operating round, then the game ends at the end of that operating round. Not the set, the round. Oh, really? Yep. It's not just the company gets to operate and then it's one over? Nope. Okay. Uh... And then the fourth and final game end trigger, and this seems like the uh, quote unquote standard game end trigger, is that at the end, after the first complete set of operating rounds in the purple phase, meaning the first time we do a full four ORs for an SR, we will end it after that set. Does that make sense? So basically, Jeez. once someone buys a diesel, it's over? Or the next round, it's over? The next time we do a full okay. set of ORs after we've entered diesel. So probably not the round we enter wow. diesel, but the round the after. Round after. Yeah. Okay. yeah. It's inter cool. interesting, because this yeah. map looks like it would have some interesting diesel runs, but you've got a hard cap on the number of time turns you get to do it. Exactly. That's interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's game end triggers. Uh, I mentioned there's no cert limit. Uh, as you can see in the stock market, there's no yellow, orange, or brown zone. There is a gray zone. It works somewhat similarly. Uh, let me flip back to the section of the rulebook so I don't lie about it. But uh, it conveys a few benefits. One, uh, if a company's stock marker is in there, then you may purchase more than 60% of the company, uh, or I should say you're allowed to purchase a share even if you already have 60%, because that dovetails into my next point, which is you never have to sell down if you have more than 60% of a company. 
I also mentioned that off stream. That's very important. There are other ways of getting more than 60% other than being in the gray. Uh, the Mohawk and Hudson private in this game got a little bit of a buff. Uh, you're allowed to use it to trade in if you already have 60% for one thing. Uh, I think there's some other, some other scenarios. We'll see if they come up. But yeah, you never have to sell down if you're over 60%. What this game is teaching us is that Monopoly laws only apply after 18. <laughs> this is true. Um, there are a couple other benefits for the gray zone. Uh, one, the director of that company may buy its shares from the IPO and or the bank pool two at a time rather than one at a time. Wait, did you say and or? And or. Motherfuckers. Bank Wait, the owner of the company? Yes, the owner of the company can buy shares from the IPO and or the bank pool two at a time. Okay. Uh, and then finally, uh, the stock price is going to move differently. Let me move to section 12.2. Is the bank pool? What's that? Where is the bank pool? Uh, the open market is the bank pool. Oh, I'm just sorry. The, yes. the actual location. Oh, the open market. There it is. Okay. Yep. I saw that and thought it was the rule book. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> it does look like that, doesn't it? Uh, let's see. Oh, that's right. Uh, if at the end of a stock round, a share value was in the gray area of the stock market, uh, then the start pri stock price marker is moved up one row just for being in the gray zone, it looks like. Huh. Oh, no. No, no, it, it has to be sold out. But right. if it's sold out... And so like it moves if it moves up for being sold out, if it's also in the gray area, there gray it area, it goes up again. Thank you. Wait, I, I am sorry. What? What? <laughs> so you know how like normally if a stock is sold out, it moves up. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yes. If it is going to bump and it is also in the gray area, it bumps oh. twice. Oh, okay. Oh. So that's your catch up mechanic for in for intentionally dropping your company into the trash. Yep. Yeah. Uh, oh. thirdly, there is another way to get a bump, which is if the director owns at least 80% of a company, then you can get an additional bump on top of... I, s I see how it can 500 is maybe an option now. <laughs> okay. Uh, Crewmeister, this is probably comparable to slow 1830 play, longer otherwise, I would think. Um... Uh, crit one Kellens, it specifies if it started its movement from the gray area. So even if it bumps out with its first movement, it will continue to rise for the gray bonus uh, if it started there. So in theory, if you start at 55, 100% held, and 80% with the company owner, you could bump all the way to 71? One, two, wow. uh, 68, because you would go one yeah, for one, being two, sold three. out. One for having 80%, one for being in the gray zone. Oh, okay. I thought being in the gray was two on its own. Nope. Okay. Like, then if you like, it's still though, like, that's, then every, it's two every turn after that. Like, that still, that starts climbing up fast. Yeah. Yeah. And pretty hard to interact with that company once the, once one person owns so much of it. I mean, yeah, you, you're going to have to watch that. You can't let people do it when they go in the gray. Yep. Can you buy more than one when they're in the gray, or is that not? Yes, you can buy two if you are the director of the company. Okay. If you're the president of the company, and wow, those it's two, the whole game of wow. See, this this is this is where the priority deal, uh, like sacrificing one SR just to guarantee that you are first in the next SR might be a a thing that happens. Yeah, so that's, you know, speaking of that, let's, let's mention that uh, priority in stock rounds is determined by pass order of the previous round. So if I'm the first one to pass in sequence, I will be first going into the next SR. Uh, and we have two sets of cards so we can trade out which one we're on for which round. So yeah, that's very important. What else have we got? The waterfall auction is different. I'll talk about that last. There's mergers in this game. It might be time to talk about that. Oh, you know, it's might be might be. 
Let's talk about mergers. <laughs> uh, so there are two types of merger that you can perform. Uh, or rather, I should say there's two conditions under which you can perform a merger because they're going to resolve the same way. They're just they have two different restrictions. One, uh, you can merge two companies that were each floated in previous stock rounds. Or you can merge a company that was floated this round with a company that was not floated in a previous round. And if you wonder why I phrased it that way, it's because the second company doesn't have to be floated. Okay. So it can, if you want to think about it this way, you can either merge two old companies, two new companies, or a new company and a company that hasn't floated. Wait, a new, an old company and a company that hasn't floated? A new company and a company that hasn't floated. Uh, so once, it, once it's old, you can only be merged with other olds, but if it's new, you can merge it with something that hasn't floated or another new. Correct. You got it. Got it. Now, what does merging uh, do exactly? If you can, like, what's the benefits to merging? Yeah, I'll talk about that. Did you have a, a question, Alan? I just, I'm just trying to clarify this. So once a, a new company can never be merged with an old company. Correct. Under no conditions. Okay. Uh, before we get into benefits, I might, I don't know. I feel like the mechanical aspect of this is going to. Yeah, I was going to uh, run through the procedure of a merger. And then I think the benefits will become rather evident as we obvious. do so. Yeah, sure. Uh, so the way it works is you select your two companies, um, you determine which of, uh, they're, they're going to become a system. That's the name of the, the merged companies for this game. Uh, you will determine which of them is basically going to be the host company or parent company. That's the one that's going to, uh, be the, the, the survivor in effect. Uh, you will, let's start making an example, I think. Let's say we've got doo, 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 doo. these two. They, they were on the stock market like so. Um, all right. So let's say that uh, we're making Boston and Maine the, the primary company for this merger. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take this merger marker. We're going to place it on the stock market on the position that is going to be the stock price of the new system. And we're going to determine that stock price by calculating the value of the left uh, companies, the leftmost companies value added to half of the rightmost companies value. And this is leftmost, rightmost in regards to the two that are merging. Not like all companies or anything. Uh, so in this case, it would be 94 plus half of 71. 30, 35. Uh, so yeah. that gives us a total of 129.5. We're going to go up the stock market from the left position until we find the next cell that does not exceed that new target value. So we were looking wow. for 129.5, we'll go up to 119. Let me turn off the grid for this real quick. There we go. Uh, and in the case of hitting the top of the stock market, we would continue right if we had to keep looking for an eligible cell for this. So this is one way you could maybe get to 500 is if you merge up and over, if that makes sense. Wow. I feel like I'm blowing minds. Um, <laughs> so that's going to be the, the target share price. That's what the company, the system is going to have for a share value after the merger is complete. Then you're basically going to combine the assets of the two companies. Uh, you'll place whichever one is being merged underneath the other. That may not be how we end up doing it in TTS. We'll have to figure it out. But... Uh, that's how you would do it in person. You will... Let's see. Uh, do, do, do. 
I mean, we probably just copy and paste the major marker on it. That might be a way to do it. Um, if only one of the two companies was floated, you will discard its treasury. Uh, meaning you're not going to get to carry over money from a merger where only one of the companies was floated. But in, in benefit later, you're going to be, be able to basically float the system at its new share price. If that makes sense. We can push that off for later. That's less relevant. Uh, system has coal tokens. You merge those overs. Uh, station markers of the subsidiary company uh, are replaced with station markers of the system of the other company. And if there's ever a hexagon that had stations of both companies, you will replace the subsidiary with one of these blocking stations. Got it. Yep. Uh, any trains owned by the two companies remain on their respective charters. Is that it? Or... Oh. Audio looks good on my end, Crewmeister. Um... Yeah, so it stays for the, the share the system with the two companies, but that's don't worry about that yet. That's that's fine. Then there's going to be a trade in. We're going to eliminate shares of the subsidiary company company by converting them into shares of the uh, primary company, which is representing the system. So starting with the player who's performing the merger. And proceeding then in turn order, each player will trade all pairs of shares they have of either or both merging companies for one share of the system. So what does that mean? If I had... Uh, I don't recognize any of these symbols. Let me grab some. Baltimore and Ohio. And Canpac. Say we're looking at something like this. I had a Baltimore and Ohio and a CanPack. Uh, I would turn in both of these and in return get one share of the BNO because this is now representing the merged company, the system. I have a question. What if you only have one and not two? Does What happens to the, that odd uh, number? That's a great question and that's very important. So we're not there yet or <laughs> uh, well, we can go over it now. Um, Sorry. No, it's OK. If if ever the number of shares the player has is <clears throat> odd, they. Um, they choose which to leave untraded and then do 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 do. Uh, you will trade single shares you have of the public of one of the two companies uh, for a system share by paying the stock price difference between the share you have and the system share. Or you will sell the share immediately to the bank pool. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you'll either buy up to a system share or you'll sell the share. Okay. Could you not end up with more than 100%? Uh, doesn't sound like it. I don't think you could because you're always trading two for one, except in the case of, you know, paying one for one to make up the difference. Interesting. I mean, like if everyone, I don't know, I just wasn't sure if everyone had one and everyone bought up. So if you had a company that was 60% out, so it's floated, and then you decide to merge with a company that's not floated, Technically, you could end up with a company that has less than, like, you could have a thirty percent company out in the wild. Uh, yes. Um, oh, interesting. Or I guess the extra shares end up in the bank pool. No. Do they go back to the IPO? Let's so see. I guess that's a question. When you're trading two for one, where do the share that you're dumping go? Uh, so that's a great question. They get discarded from the game, but then the first place that you take system shares from when you're doing the trade-in is discarded shares. So effectively, in my exact example, with the single BNO and the single CanPack share, I would discard both of these, 
And the one I would take re to represent the system would be the B and O share I just traded in. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, I guess what I what I'm curious about here is is it possible to be in a position where you can never pick up where there is less than 100% of a shares available in the game for a particular company? I don't think so. Because um, there are then procedures for the bank pool and IPO to trade up to the uh, system share. I th Ooh, let me see. First pairs of shares, then any remaining single shares are traded up to system shares. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm going to proceed with the procedure real quick, because uh, a few more things Sorry. happened. It's OK. Uh, you'll then go ahead and move, or you'll you know, remove the other company from the stock market and move you up to the merger share value. You will do, 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 place the par price of the company marker in the systems box from wherever it used to be on the par chart. You will do, do uh, the director of the new system will donate a 10% share certificate that they own of the new system to the system's charter. So you basically have to give up 10% of the company. Um, And then if the uh, if one of the two companies was not floated at the start of the merger process, then the merged company, the system, will float when it hits 60% like any other company. Uh, and it, it capitalizes based off of the system price. So... If in our example, the B&M had merged with the CANPAC and the CANPAC had not been floated uh, completely, then when we finished buying 60% of the B&M system, it would capitalize at 119. So it would get 1,190. Wow. That's a lot of money to have to basically float two companies in one SR. Yeah. Um, so just to clarify, money. So let's say I float Boston and Maine, it gets its money. I then decide I'm going to do a merger as a system. Mm -hmm. Boston and Maine's money just goes away? Only if the other company is not floated. If it is floated, okay. the companies keep their money. Okay. Dude. So what happens then if once it becomes... If if the company if let's say this is a scenario where both companies are floated, mm -hmm. when Canpac becomes a subsidiary company, what happens to its money and trains? That's a great question. Uh, so let's talk about what systems do during the operating round, uh, because that I think explains all the other questions. Uh, okay. Systems. Um, do, do, do let me find the section of the rule book. Still trying to find the benefit to this, so... Yeah, sure this, is, this is about to be it. This is about to be it. Where is the section of the rule book? Okay, so uh, systems... Systems get to lay two track, basically, uh, but they cannot upgrade a track they lay in the same turn. So basically, they can lay two yellows, they can lay uh, two greens, two browns, whatever. Uh, they just can't do a yellow and then upgrade it immediately. Mm -hmm. What else do we have? Where is it? Uh, at the start of the train buying step, a system may freely arrange its trains between its 
it's two companies, it's two shells. Okay. The train buying step? Yes. Okay. Right at the start of it, before you buy trains, you can shuffle the trains between the two companies freely. No limits. Uh, well, sorry. Following train limit. But you sure. don't need to shuffle money. You don't need to do anything like that. They just trade them however they want. Uh, and then... A... Let's see, where is it? Just trying to make sure I don't lie. Uh, a system is not required to have a train in both shells. If only one of the shells of a system has a train or trains, and the company has a route between one of its station markers and another revenue center, the director may optionally choose to enter emergency train buying for the empty shell. Hmm. I think what I'm most confused about is I thought they became one thing. Why is there two shells if they're merged? Like, what's the benefit of having two shells versus, like, I thought they were all one big happy company at that point. They're, they're merging not into a singular entity so much as they're merging into a compound entity. So basically, yeah. it's two separate companies that are running after the same banner? Yeah, Is that, that, might, be, that might be the way to think about it. I mean, I, Do they I guess have the, the same bank? Or no? Uh, no, they have separate treasuries. And I don't think there's any okay. way to, like, specially transfer the money between the two. You could so cross. I guess trains. another question I have then is if, say, it's New York and let's do the other New York, right? And they become merged, mm -hmm. and so basically they all become the same station, so they can travel through each other as well. Then yes. without having that limit. Yep. Okay. So basically, it becomes two companies that can work that are working together essentially under one banner. Yes. And th that's yeah. the biggest benefit is that they want to work together. Yeah. Well, I guess okay. that said, it sounds like you do run into the same problems that you always have. Like, you cannot hit the same city twice with the same train. You can't run the same tracks. Yeah. In the this same is all true. Yeah, but I feel like that's one of those, like, if you do it right, like, you can basically just, like, like let's just say, like, OSNH can, like, go all the way down to PNR if you do it right, right? Like, it, you know what I mean? Like, if you get yeah. some, like, if you can lay it right, you can just get one big long train with two companies working together to do it. You could. So, I, I, so back on the question of okay. uh, moving money around. So companies, shell companies can transfer mon trains freely. Can they still purchase trains from each other? I believe so. There's nothing in the rules against it. And it's a very, like, the rules say exactly what you can do and not things you can't do, you know? So, like, it, it seems like that's, it seems like they can operate in that regard, just like normal companies where they could cross buy from each other to uh, embezzle assets. But since it's happening in the same window, it seems like there's probably a lot more flexibility there. Yeah, you you get the uh, you get that ability to shuffle the trains without having to buy them over. And that maybe opens up opportunities to funnel money in ways you weren't expecting. I think this is all correct. I think I'm not lying or anything. Yeah, I'm assuming that can only be done one way, though. I couldn't say, like, shuffle a train to Boston and Maine just to then buy it back with CanPack so I can shift my money into, into Boston and Maine. I would assume that would have to happen over two different ORs. That's an awfully good question. Because otherwise, why not just be able to move money freely, you know? <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I'm going to have to look at those rules more when we get to them. I don't want to say Do they? And... Yeah. Do you calculate the routes all together? Together, or do you do separate payouts? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. No, that it seems like it matter. seems like you do it as one company. Okay. Okay, interesting. So it does like you avoid some liability. You have the value of being able to run the same station tokens. So, like in theory, you could run more trains through New York and stuff like that. Like, yeah, I, I mean, well, and then it also has the if you're in like the train limit three. Well, now you can technically run six. Yeah, but you 
gave up a bunch of your shares to do it. I don't know. know. I, I wonder if there is a value strategy to not doing any of those shenanigans, but I feel like your problem probably ends up being you get tokened out of stuff. I don't know. I don't know either. Um, yeah, so let's go over a few more things, and I think we're about ready to get going. Uh, there are two companies that have special track laying rules. They are the Boston and Maine and the NYNH. Uh, their special rules are indicated on their charter. As you can see on the Boston and Maine here, it has those two little yellow hexes. The rule is just that uh, the company or a system with either of them may place an additional yellow track tile at a cost of $40 paid to the bank from the company treasury. Huh. That's in addition to any terrain costs or anything. Uh, and it cannot upgrade a track in the round where it does this. So if you do this, it is exclusively laying two yellow sh uh, track tiles. I see why NYNH would get this. I don't understand why Boston and Maine needs this. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. So it can go north? I don't know. I don't know. Interesting. Um, okay. I think that's Let's play. all that. Uh, let me just mention what the special trains are. Uh, obviously, we have two, three, five. We have three plus D. Uh, the way three plus D works is. Do -do -do. Three plus D. Uh, the route for a three plus D cannot contain a, more than a total of three cities, uh, coal field or off board locations. There may be any number of towns on the route before, between, and after any other revenue centers on the route, and you will double the sum of all the revenue centers on the route. So you run for three stops plus any number of towns, and you double all of it. Does that make sense? Yep. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then the 8E is kind Wait, of similar. Wait, you double all of it? You double all of it. Wow. Uh, okay, sorry. That's okay. And then there's the 8E, which lets you go to eight stops and any number of towns. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's, it lets you go to any number of towns, but it doesn't pay out for them. It skips them. Oh, that's interesting. So it's it's eight stops and skipping any number of towns. Can you hit uh, the towns, or is it forced? It looks like it's forced. You're not allowed to pay out the towns. Ooh, okay. <laughs> An eight-city run is actually hard to pull off. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Mutako, Tuka, we are, we're doing a jump up here. This one's... We had five people. A, this is a five-player game, so we're, we'll see I how it goes. I have another question. Absolutely. Can you only merge two, or can if it, if you already have like a merged company and you have a third company that is qualified because they're both old companies, could you remerge to make a three-company merge? It's a great question, and you could not. Okay. Uh, a system is exclusively between two companies. Unfortunate, yeah, my, but that my makes dreams, sense. My dreams of a 16-company merge is... <laughs> Out the window. <laughs> also, you need to be the president of both companies, correct? Uh, or permission from the president of Got it. the other company. That was a great question. So, 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 just if you're president, yeah. If you're, if, if you're president of both, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, do. I mean, it's also a good way to like, like, give up like the what is it the responsibility for a company to someone if they really want it, you know? True. Like, and still be like making money off of what they're doing plus their company. I don't know if that's actually like, a good idea think, or not, but it's. I mean, I think depending on where where the situation, I don't think that's. I don't know. I don't know. Every, a horrible idea. I honestly just don't uh, know. So every time we've ever seen collaborators in a game, the person who wins out in that deal is the person who retains control. Yeah. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> um, I am curious. Uh, so the CMP has its own treasury. What is, can that be used for anything? Yes, uh, I'm going to talk about that in a minute. Let me hit like one more thing. Uh, I sure. I want to talk about these coal fields down here. Yes. Uh, these are special coal field tokens. You cannot hit the coal fields or pass through it unless you possess one of these tokens. 
Uh, the way you get the tokens are if you have a route to the coal field, you may purchase one during a company's turn for $120. Rude. Or, or if you lay track on the Virginia Tunnel, it costs $120 because of the mountain there, but you get the coal token for free. And this space can exclusively take a straight town laid across the line in the center of the of the hex. Okay, so that's probably the the first turn, second turn CNO play is go ahead and pick up that coal. Probably. Expensive, but all right. It is what it is. Um there are obviously more phases than just the yellow, green, brown. Uh, they correspond with the trains, as you can see. Let me just quickly call out the highlights. Uh, green phase is when you can purchase privates. Uh, it opens up the green par prices and green track. The train limit is four, uh, and there are two operating rounds for every stock round. Blue phase uh, opens up blue par up there. Uh, and it removes all the yellow trains from the game. The brown phase doo -doo -doo, opens up brown track and brown pars. Uh, it switches revenue centers to their second brown value. Uh, train limit goes down to three, and we start having three ORs. Red phase uh, closes private companies, so that's very important. Privates close on the sixes, not on the three plus Ds, not on the fives. Uh, do all green trains are removed at the red, and the train limit goes down to two. Uh, and then the gray phase. I don't think there's anything special here. Just removes blue trains, and then purple phase obviously triggers the end of the game after the next full set of ORs. Uh, it also limits the purchase of director certificates from the IPO meaning no more companies can be floated once we hit purple. Mm. And in addition to this, we will place blocking station markers on the home stations of all unparred companies. Make sense? Yep. Yes. Uh, and then finally, it rusts brown trains. OK, I think we're good to talk about the auction. And the private companies? Does anyone have any questions before we get into that? Cool. All right. Uh, most of them are similar to 1830s. There's the Schuylkill. It blocks uh, G19. I don't even know where G19 is. G19. Oh, it blocks over there, just like it does in 1830. Uh, Champlain and St. Lawrence works the same as 30. It lets you place an additional track up near the can pack, and it blocks that spot. Delaware and Hudson, just like 1830, it's a teleport to Scranton. You have to pay the 120, uh, but you get the free token. Uh, Mohawk and Hudson is slightly different. It's a little bit better. It uh, blocks D22. Which is over there. That's normal. But what's special is uh, when you exchange it for a share, the share is allowed to go above your 60%. Alternatively, when you trade it in, make sure I'm not making this up. I know I read it. Mohawk and Hudson. Uh, in addition to being used to grab a 10% certificate, uh, you could use it to help grab a president's certificate. It will pay for half of it, and then you'll pay for the other half. Hmm. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Um, do... uh, it still trades it in, though, so who knows if that actually gets used. Uh, Camden Amboy comes with 10% of PRR. 
And then instead of the BNO, we have a bunch of BNOs. None of them are actually the BNO, but they come with 30% of a company. Uh, that's a 20% president certificate and a 10% normal share. They have a cost of 250, they have a revenue of 40, and they cannot be purchased in. They, uh, they're a thing, apparently. Oh, I just realized because the par price is phase locked, you can't par it at 100. <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't think of that. You're right. Yeah, you can only par it at 79 if you start there, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, I imagine all of us will get at least one. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. <laughs> um, all right, let's talk about the other ones real quick. They're the St. Clair Tunnel, uh, very similar to the Schuylkill or whatever. It just blocks D10 until a company buys it in, uh, D10 being over there. The Coburg and Peterborough is probably the most complicated private. Uh, we'll talk about it in a second. Let's just get the Erie and Kalamazoo done. Uh, Erie and Kalamazoo blocks the E7, two, which is over there. Uh, when the private is purchased by a company, you can place a yellow track tile there. Uh, and then the owning company may, a single time during the game, place an additional yellow track tile for $20 during its track building step. That's just a one-time use. Seems good. Yeah, seems pretty good. Uh, all right, finally, there's the Coburg in Peterborough. As I mentioned, it is basically a miner company. Uh, so the way it's going to work is it's going to operate at the start of the operating round after privates pay out, uh, but before any companies operate. It's going to place or upgrade a single piece of track uh, following connectivity from its station. And then it's going to run a two train, uh, just a virtual two train that it has. The route must include the piece of track that you just laid, but does not have to contain the station of the miner. OK? Does that make sense? Yes. OK, hey, yeah. OK, uh, and then it's going to half pay. So half of it's going to go to the owner of the Coburg and Peterborough. Half of it will go to the company, to the, the miners charter, its treasury. Uh, when the Coburg and Peterborough is purchased in to a company, that company will absorb the treasury of the miner, and it has the option of replacing this station token with one of its own. And that's, that's the private effects. So how does the auction itself work? It's your standard waterfall auction, but blown up a little bit. Uh, things are divided into tranches, as you can see. And that's very important. Uh, we can bid on anything, same as uh, sort of a normal waterfall. You cannot purchase a, a private unless every other private in its tranche has a bid on it. So you cannot purchase the Schuylkill until there's a bid on the St. Clair or vice versa. Oh, so you actually have to bid, bid on them? Weird. Okay. I just realized, why does this one have 5 and 10 revenue? That's a great question. I have no clue. St. Clair. Which one? <laughs> also, instead of this one right here. Also, another quick question while you're looking that up might be easier. Can you upgrade gray tiles in the map to green or no? They are stuck as gray. No, no, no. gray is stuck as so, gray. So like yeah. Cleveland will always be Cleveland gray with those three points. Yep. Yep. OK, perfect. I was pretty sure just wanted to confirm. No, yeah, that's a good question since the colors are a little different here. Saint. Where the heck does Saint Clair do? Let me. Oh, it bumps up to 10 when a company purchases it. So the oh. player gets $5 in okay. revenue, yeah. the company gets 10 cool. Is that the same thing with this? Uh, no, the Coburg and Peterborough's 15 is exclusively if somebody has purchased this during the initial auction, and everybody passes, so privates pay out. Ah, uh, that makes a lot of sense. Yep. <laughs> Otherwise, you're super sad. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, so... 
um, Pat, when everybody passes during the auction, if people are, hold, are holding privates, then those privates will pay out. Uh, and then we'll go back into the auction. Oh, that's what you were talking about, the waterfall. Got it. Okay. Yep. That's, that was the... Yeah, okay. Yep. Okay. So, yeah, going back to talking about how the auction works, uh, you can either buy the cheapest private uh, in a tranche if every other private in that tranche has a bid on it, or you may pass, or you may bid on anything or increase a bid that you have uh just like a waterfall basically uh and when you purchase the cheapest of a tranche uh since everything else in that tranche has a bid on it we will resolve that bid we will move on down the line to the next one the next tranche we'll check to see if there is a bid on everything there if there is we'll resolve it uh, if not, we will stop there and go back into bidding. Does that make sense? Yes. Uh, an additional note, if all players pass during the auction, then all companies with bids are auctioned or awarded for their bid uh, before purchased privates pay out. So if everybody passes, we sort of trigger a, a waterfall anyway. And yeah, the auction ends when everything's been purchased. Anyone have any questions? So many. So many? Let's play. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I don't think I have anything else I need to go over. Uh, yeah, I think that's everything. Yeah, I've been thinking about it, Lily. I've been thinking about it. I mean, I'm no, not you're helping. Doing, you're, just, you're just putting your... Emu plans to bid on everything. Uh, Did those come out giant? Oh, I forgot to make them tiny for everybody. I'm sorry. Emu. <laughs> He's ready. He's ready. Remember, you only have $620, Emu. I do appreciate the little clicky buttons for this. I also like how he didn't put one on the... Oops, I just touched that. Didn't put one on the first one. Ah! <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, God. Oh, no. Someone loaded a save state. Was that me? I don't know, but I think we're fine. Looks like we're fine. It might okay. have been me. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know what that was V. Because I went to hit tab and I hit tilt and I was like, was that me? Did I do something I shouldn't do? If you didn't do control Z, you're fine. Not that I'm aware of, unless I really fucked up. Alright. That's... Deal! Uh, wait, hold on. Let me, let me make sure that's how the initial turn order is done. not get Candyland in here. Randomly assign the remaining player number cards. No, sorry. Set one color of player number cards aside. No. I mean, we typically yeah. don't. Just randomly assign them. It's just randomly yeah. assign them. I just had to grok the sentence for a second. Alright. Deal to Alan. Deal to Garrick. Deal to Emu. Deal to Lily. And Pat, this is yours. I'm sad is about Is there a reason why they're hidden for now? Because the mod... Is bad. I'll fix it. Garrick, I see you conveniently dealt yourself the one. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's not, not rigged at all. I mean, is the one actually convenient here, though? No. Man, I don't even know. You have a point. Um, <laughs> like, if anything, I think two and three have the better positions to like just buy out one of these at the beginning. Well, I think the two the, has the best position. I think there being two in the ripcord area is going to prevent that. Hey, I didn't do that, Kurt One Callens. That's the mod. The mod is supposed to set that. Um, 
You know you want to go ahead and bid on OS and H. <laughs> You're funny. Wait, I... Yeah. I'm going to bid on the Eerie and Kalamazoo for... Oh, I see. So we can't ripcord. I understand. I thought we could only bid on yellow at first. I get it. Okay. Yep. Yeah, basically no one's going to bid on these until everything is has bids. I actually appreciate this. This means no runaway auctions. Could someone not just buy green out, though, if they wanted? Nope, because you can only purchase uh, the cheapest from the cheapest tranche exclusively if everything else in the tranche has bids. Got it. What you doing, Lily? Mm. Never said tranche so many times in my life. And I've watched Probably. the big short. I've discussed the big short. Um, what am I doing? Let's go for this one. Not that one. Why was there a snap point? Uh, it's it's the grid. Hold on. Let me let me fix uh -oh. it. Make it not there snap point. It's fixed. It's fixed. <laughs> Oh, they're all gritty. Yeah, oh, no, hold no. on. I'll I'll fix everybody's. I'll fix everything. If you toggle it from the bag, does that fix it? No. You have to pull one out, fix it, and reset the bag. Okay. It's okay. Yeah, I, I just pulled mine out and then took it off and then copied. And I don't even it. know what you mean Oops. by fixing it. Everyone have a counter. <laughs> you can just no no no. You can just delete it. <laughs> Oh, you gave us a good counter? No, just delete the one I gave you. It was an accident. I just gave it back to you. <laughs> Sounds good. Oh, no, I put... I. Oh, dear. I. <laughs> Why... Why did I do this, Garrick? I'm sorry, I gave you orange counters. I can fix it. I can fix everything! What just happened? All right, I... <laughs> I think we're all good. Mm -hmm. minus, minus my little snafu with Alan here, but we'll fix it. No, mine still snaps. Shit. Shit, does it reset it when it... Hold on, let me... This is going great, guys. No, okay, it's fixed now. Just get rid of that one. That one's bad. Awesome. Uh, Critwin Callens, I don't know anything. I don't know anything right now. Uh, my thought was Eerie and Kalamazoo seems good because it 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 controls tractiles. I don't know. Tractiles seem good. Tractiles seem good. Wait, why is it flipping these? Oh my god, it's flipping them upside down. That's so annoying. Uh, oh, your our hands upside down. Why can't I not? No, oh, it's fine there. It'll let you rotate it in your. It's just a. An... All right. Whose turn, is... Whose turn is it? What's happening? Okay. Yeah. I don't have shadows. It's so hard to aim it. Uh, was that 125? Fix that. One sec. DNA feels like such a trap when you know for a fact you're guaranteed to have to pick up one of these. Right? Like, just get 10% of a company that's probably not going to fly. I mean, maybe PRR is still good. I don't know. I mean, PRR... The home token is a lot better. Yeah, it you is. You can tell that just by looking at it. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, who are we back around to? It's me. I'm just debating. You move with so his 10,000 counters. I said I was interested in something, so Lily decided to go and bid on it. What? Oh. I wasn't uh, supposed to make that like, difficult. 
do I do that? Is it seems good. I mean, Eerie and Kalamazoo also seems good and interesting. Uh, eh, we'll do this for now. We'll come back later. All right, Emu. Ooh, hmm. going for the Mohawk and Hudson. Cool. Okay. Um, oh wow, jumping it up to one forty too. <laughs> this is maybe the time to mention that uh, we are not allowed to have more than six hundred and twenty dollars worth of bids out there. Uh, <laughs> that may may seem obvious. It's worth mentioning. <laughs> Damn it! I plan to ruin. Does that count <laughs> if it's? like been over over counted like does pat's 125 count yeah or is it just like the highest? Mm -hmm. that's a great question and i think, I would, it I think it's counts. just highest no i think it would count because he's still in the running for that let me see yeah but my 125 is useless then like if i that means no, i have to leave enough money you're still you're still in the running for that private for that. no i know but that means i have to leave enough money elsewhere to okay uh, let me check let me check You know what? That's just that's... that. No, let's see. Now it looks like yellow. My stupid orange caps look like red. Um, they look different to me. Yeah. Okay. So long as we can all tell. To start naming the counters. Okay, okay, here it is. For the two hundred and fifty dollar companies, the the BNO is down here. When somebody overbids you, you return the lower bid. For all other companies, your bid stays out. It counts against your money for bidding on other privates. Okay, so that's why people pull the ripcord before getting to that bottom part. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. I'll go down to one thirty then. Sounds like a plan. That's why I mentioned it. <laughs> <laughs> um, possibly relevant. Possibly relevant. I don't know. I kind of want to get caught with like six hundred and fifty dollars out there, and then <laughs> break go bankrupt before we start. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Um, I wonder what the incentives of this are. Is I don't know the value of anything, so I don't know if we need to bid something up. Yeah, that's the thing. I was because I CNA feels like it might be overpriced now. I mean, you still it's still a big cash like return to get some money out of a company, but if it let me see. Can you get CNA? I mean, you you I get mean, I guess the, you get thirty percent of whatever. Too. You get thirty percent of whatever. Well, yeah, the revenue is sure, but it's more like, will it prevent you from starting a company? Is is the question? Hmm. So you get thirty percent of any of these. Oh wait, did these? Oh, okay, when purchase purchases. So we're pretty much guaranteed that these aren't. I'm going to bid on the St. Clair. Ooh, interesting. I think it's good. Cost 20, pays 5 to you, 10 to the company. That just seems like value. So we can't still ripcord till this one gets a vote, correct? And this if one? We, we can ripcord now, but it would stop after the Champlain and St. Lawrence. And then somebody could choose to ripcord the Delaware and Hudson, at which point it would stop at the Camden and Amboy. Yeah. It's interesting. Got it. So basically, if... Yeah, that's what 
probably needed to happen, is what Lily's doing right there. I did it! Hey, is that what we that. wanted to happen? Do we like what people have? Because now the ripcord can be pulled, and I don't know if that's a good thing or not. <laughs> I mean, you did this, Garrick. You did this. Mm -hmm. If I do that, Lily gets both blues. She does. Yep. Uh, you, I don't know if you are incentivized to do it is the thing, because I then, don't think I am. then you're in contest for Mohawk with and Hudson. And with just Emo, it's like, we have no, we only have investment in one each. Yeah. yeah, I think it only helps Lily, me, and Garrick if you do that. Yeah, I don't uh, think I want to do that. Which, which means, since I'm after you, you probably have to bid on Mohawk and, or Champlain and St. Lawrence. Yeah, like if if we just follow the yeah, like I need up. to do this and then let someone else block Lily. You're right. That's unfortunate. Because mm -hmm. if I don't do that, then you can just pull the ripcord and get two cheap ones for fairly free. I mean, alternative. So here's the other devil's advocate argument: is you could go on Camden and Amboy, and just count on me to pull the ripcord. <laughs> Yeah, but do I want Camden and Amboy? I don't know. See, that's the thing. I don't know. In in 1830 Vanilla, it's the best company. And getting it at 165 would be cheating almost. <laughs> I just don't know in this setup but would you where there's you no know? way to par PRR if it's actually mm, good. Yeah. This is a cool auction. I, take... I mean, I think there's an argument for you doing it, but I can see the argument, too, for stalling out. The problem is, if you stall out, then you end up cross-bidded on a bunch of items where uh, myself, uh, Garrick, and Lily are not. So you're counting on us to do the quote-unquote right thing. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah, if I, like, if I do this, yeah. Whereas if I go for Camden and Amboy and you pull the ripcord, I benefit no matter what. Exactly. And if I don't you know did if that's it, actually see, good for me or not. Say if you did pull it, you only get those two cheap ones. Mm-hmm. Then Garrick gets Eerie and that. The only person who doesn't really benefit is Emu. <laughs> if you yeah, pull it, poor, do that. Poor Emu's in the worst spot. The five is rough. Yeah. I actually don't know what to do. Thing is, I don't know if... Like... I'm just trying to think. If you don't pull the ripcord, if you don't pull the ripcord, you probably block one of Lily's. I'm just thinking out loud. Yeah. And I, then, well, does I, Emu I pull the ripcord? Of... I don't think Emu does, because he don't uh, get one I, hit the fight. I me. probably am forced to block one of Lily's. Emu probably blocks the other one. Uh... Okay, but then that, that just leaves Garrett then to prosper. Garrett, then Garrett gets yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think I think it's hard to say what the best thing is here. But or I do I put mine here? But then again, the same thing. You could just pull for two free ones, cheap ones. I yeah. have to block you, don't I? I either block you I, or I hope that you do it and I do this. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I agree with that. I think if you cross invest into somebody else's, it should be CNL or CNS. Um, I don't know what the right answer is. I I'm not sad if I pull the ripcord, but I also don't know if it's the right choice for me, just based on having lower revenues than everybody. But yeah, Emu. you know what? I'm gonna do that. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take the chance. I'm fine with it if you want it. Okay. The two cheap ones. Eh, there's no shadow. I can't see where it's going. <laughs> okay, I'm sixty-five. So let's. Okay, so you're there now. So everything at least has one bid. Probably Emu gets Mohawk and Hudson, although there, I guess there's a world where that doesn't happen. Uh, which means if I do pull the ripcord here, I end up with the low revenue, which means I probably end up with two of these green companies, which is probably horrible. Not the worst position, but. Well, just from the standpoint of, let's think about how much this costs. So it's five. No, yeah, no. From the standpoint of this being costing a lot, yes. But I just, I know I have been in that position before, and it's not necessarily the worst. Yeah, 
I guess I'm just trying to figure out timing wise. The problem too is I don't have strong uh, private companies to sell in, so I'm not getting a lot of money that way. Feel like if I block one of yours, Emu blocks one of yours, then Garrick just pulls the ripcord for himself and is laughing all the way to the bank. <laughs> no, I mean, if you block one of Lily's, I probably block one of Garrick's. That way, everyone's blocked. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's, that's, what happens. that's a good mm -hmm. point you, because you then not Garrick, pulling it because then Garrick blocks the other of Lily's. I think that's probably the right answer for me. Oh, this is so like, cool. I don't feel like Emu's pulling it no matter what. So if you block, oh no, the right? Emu would it would be hilarious, but I don't think Emu's gonna pull it. I don't think that's the right call for him. It would be mm -hmm. fucking hilarious though. Yes, a hundred percent. But no, well, I mean, I... but he'd be oh, giving I... Lily two or Garrick two, no matter what. So like, it just seems really bad, considering he has no guaranteed for easy one, because his only other one besides the pull would be the one I'm in comp competition with. I mean, I guess the question is, does Emu think you're going to bid him up on the M and H? And I almost think that if you did bid him up on the M and H, he should punish you by letting you take it. <laughs> but no, yeah, I mean, if if you block Lily, I have. I have to block Garrick. Mm -hmm. And then Garrick pretty much has to block Lily. Yeah. I mean, by other or, you can, or also, place you can the, also, yeah. I mean, it yeah. probably depends on what I get blocked at. Yeah. Well, it, I mean, it's probably Eerie and Kalamazoo. Like, or, right? I mean, 100%. Yeah. I mean, Alan, don't you, you could block Garrick and let Emu block Lily as well. Like, you're not forced to block Lily. Emu could do it. Well, no, I would you, block Lily because this is the company I want. Then you could do that, <laughs> yes. Like if you wanted Eerie, though, you could have blocked Garrick and let... Yeah. You know, whatever one you didn't block, you would have blocked. Uh, Alan, wanna... Alan and Emu can do whatever the other one doesn't want to do, basically. Yep. Mm. Which is really just Alan forcing Emu to take the one that Alan doesn't want. Yeah. Well, I mean, both of them are interesting. So, like, neither of them is bad, necessarily. Uh, yeah. I probably so let me think if I pull the ripcord how does this work in terms of so you pull the ripcord you go from the next person again yeah you you maintain the current turn order and you just okay. go to the next person so if I were to pull the ripcord I am last pick on these probably which maybe that's a good thing maybe you get a face value one, and everyone else takes it at a bid? Maybe. An that's an interesting point. At the very least, what's interesting here is if I did pull the ripcord, no one's taken can pack because I would have champagne and St. Louis. That's fair. So at least I have one safety there, which forces everybody else to bid, which is hilarious. And then maybe you pull the ripcord on Canpack. Mm. But then again, I end up again last in stock round, although that wouldn't matter because I would have too many companies. Remember, it's first pass in stock round, not necessarily. True. Last act. So I guess I'm just trying to think. So if I do that, it's 45, 65, plus 500... 565 I would have $85 left. So like I'm probably buying a single stock and setting on revenue for a while. But that's a that's a lot of revenue. $80 in revenue every every turn. And you're sitting on 30% certs. That's almost enough to force someone to to open you up. <laughs> you know what? I I've thought about this a long time. And I'm pulling the ripcord. You're pulling oh, the ripcord. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All I right. love it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and spend my 150 for my two and uh, just take them both. I think I spend 170. I get 165 and I have to fight for the other one. Oh, wait. I did not think that was going to happen. I don't know if it's the right choice, but I just, 
I realized how much revenue it actually is and got greedy. Okay. Uh, who? Yeah. It's certainly it's okay. not going to be the deciding factor because we're going to make mistakes the whole way. I, I will just say, if you blocked Lily, I was 100% going to just put cam pack at 255. <laughs> <laughs> and just go just go the other way go to ottawa and... yeah nice that's that's All right. that's beautiful so this is on me right now right correct yep okay well i'm just gonna do that oh my oh wow interesting mm -hmm. i mean i guess they are kind of in an awkward spot as neither of mm -hmm. them is guaranteed oh wait i mean do you do you want this? <laughs> I mean, if Emu doesn't take this, he's buying two of the B&Os. I don't think there's any it's doubt true. about that. Mm -hmm. It's true. Again, though, you get 30% of the company, and you're getting $80, $80 revenue every yeah, operating round. It's, it's not bad. It just, it's just a thing. Your money's tied up. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. <clears throat> just having a quick think about it. <laughs> And all that, and I end up with the two most boring private companies in the game. Can <laughs> I take my 10% uh, PR right now? Uh, yeah, I think you do. It PR shouldn't, it shouldn't make any sort of you? difference, but yeah. Where is PR? This one, Pennsylvania, right? Yep. Ah, uh, this is a game with a red PR. Look at that. Oh, if it's red, then it has to be the best company. <laughs> I don't think John Borer designed this game. Although, we all are Harry Wu in our hearts. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't Lie the red company in 34? Is that... <laughs> Did he just pass on it? He, he just passed. passed on it. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Lovely. Oh, no. Pat! I'm okay with this. I don't know what you're talking about. All right. Um, Alan pulled the ripcord. So, Emu, you are first up for the BNO tranche. What would you like to bid on? I'm going to take CNS just to, just to be rude. Or Campac, I mean. Well, so how would this be? So, it'd be me. So, me, Garrick. Lily, Pat. So Alan would have to bid on one before the ripcord's available. Yeah. Why? Mm -hmm. Is that one, two, three, four, five, six? Why can't I just pull the ripcord? Because all at any point, be, all of them have to be bid on. Yeah, you can never pull a ripcord. Oh, right. I hadn't considered that. That's interesting. I think I might have said something that was slightly misspeaking earlier on this regard. I don't remember exactly what I said. It might have led you astray, in which case I apologize. No, it's fine. I think I'm still like relatively okay with the current situation. It's not a big deal. Okay, he'll just hate you forever. <laughs> Fair. Okay, I am super confused. What's up? Cool. About cool. um this. Ontario, the the one that's like between two tiles. Oh, it just it just counts as being on both. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's just yellow tile can go out of either one. Yep. Mm -hmm. Is it the same off boards? So like you can't hit that twice. It is the same off board. Right. Okay. I don't know why they drew it this way on this version of the map. There's there's clearer ways to indicate that. I think in yeah. uh, on dot games, there's no line. In dot games, yeah, they they have the circle on this hex, and they've got a, a line like the the track comes around onto the other one. Oh, interesting. That's, that's weird. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. It does. 
I'll make bad decisions. I I don't know anything about this. Um, going for the I'll grand put... funk. Yeah. <laughs> hey. All right, it's to me. Oh shit! I should have been thinking about where these freaking things are. Um, well, I know how much I'm bidding. <laughs> um. All right, quick sanity check. CPR is up there, obviously. Uh, you can't do CPR. No, I'm 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 thinking about. I could bid on it. I'm uh, thinking about what to bid on. Like, and you can bid on stuff even if it is the ripcord. No, the any whichever to, anything can okay. be the ripcord. It's a full. The anything can be the ripcord in this tranche. It just has to be the okay. only one that doesn't have bids on it. Got it. Okay. Interesting. Uh, OS and H is where. Oh, OSH is. That's the, uh, talking about. That's, the oh. that's the one that we're talking yep, about. Yep, yep, there it is. Okay. Uh, NW is down there. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, MP is over here in St. Louis. Uh, GT is up there. And NKP is Cleveland. Okay. Got that all sorted out. I have the St. Clair, which blocks D10. Okay. And I have the Erie and Kalamazoo, which blocks over here, E7 or whatever. You have both of the ones that block a Grand Trunk. And you bid on Grand Trunk. Interesting. <laughs> if you think about that by any chance even I mean the blocks go away when he sells it to a company right yeah it'll it could, it could still come up <laughs> I mean that said it's not impossible you just go through Flint into the ooh yeah 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 or you go north to MC like there's lots of options actually I'm just trying to yeah. figure out what I do. And it feels like since I control over here, I want to be over there. Uh, I just have no clue what being over oh. there looks like. Count Counterbid emu. Maybe that's the play. Like, it doesn't sound like it should be, but maybe it is. I don't know. I kind of, I think I kind of prefer either NKP or MC. Uh, I don't think I don't think MC is available for not for these anyways. I wasn't. I thought oh, it was MP. That's what I'm thinking of. MP down there. Uh, yeah, I think I like the sound of NKP. It's pretty comparable, but its value goes up later in the game, and I think it gives me better access to the rest of the map. So let's drop a bit on NKP, which is uh, do, do, do right there. Uh, Crit 1 Callums, these are not privates. These are a 20% president certificate and a 10% share certificate of one company. Hey, Garrick, I don't think you're allowed to bid that much. Uh, I'm bidding a penny, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Point one. What, uh, what yeah. you want to do, Lily? That one. Yeah, that makes sense. That might be a bit too powerful. I don't know what to do. I already did this. What am I doing? I don't need another one. I have enough here. I prepared for this and I already forgot. Oh, wait, there is shadows. You just can't freaking see them because <laughs> the bottom of the table's black. Uh, pretty much quit one calends. 
it's not quite bidding on like it's not the equivalent of like 41 where you you purchase the exclusive ability to float a company but uh it's comparable i forget the word they used for that for what uh in like 41 and 22 uh the the exclusive ability to to float a company they have a word for what it is I'm going to pass. I forgot you could do that. <laughs> Emu is still incentivized to continue bidding. If everybody passes, yeah. he's out. I had a feeling that's what you would do. I mean, that said, I think there's a world where people might want two of these, but even if that's the case, I'm not that sad about it. I mean... Only you and Emu can afford two of them. Yeah. So that means that you guys are you're getting one no matter what. Because there's Probably, gonna be one left. Yeah. You're getting one no matter what. Because Emu can only afford two and the rest of us can only afford one. You're getting one no matter what. Mm -hmm. Alright. So all three of you are forced to pass because you can't afford to pay it. Is yep. that okay? Mm -hmm. Then I will pull the ripcord on Campac. Uh, who's tapping into my calculator right now? Oh, sorry. <laughs> See? I double-checked myself, man. <laughs> orange, yellow, and red are all in the same place, and this is a problem. <laughs> they made it a rainbow. Wrong way. All right, everyone paid your money? Yep, I paid my money. Yeah. All right. I'm poor. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. We pulled a ripcord. Did we not pay out? Uh no. No. no 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 no. I uh, thought there was something. If everyone something. passes, if everyone passes, uh, yeah, we do okay. need right. to set par values, and the ordering is important. It's going to be in the order the companies were purchased. So whichever one had the ripcord pulled, and then going down the line left to right. Oh, Alan. And then okay. it was me. Uh, NKP uh, was last. Was NKP? So yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. Where do the par and tokens friend. come from? They just come from the sheet. Uh, yeah, they come from the sheet. They are probably the two next to the stations. Oh, this one doesn't have the hand size token. It does not. That's a good point. Uh, I guess we don't need it because there's no cert limit. No, but it's just it's nice to know for like... Oh god, I, I hit a button. What'd you hit? Oh, you, did, uh, you did private payouts. Twice. Twice? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I have a lot of money. I only see one in the logs. I see two in the logs. Oh, nope, you're right, I see it. All right, yeah, everyone pay back your money. Uh, I'm is, sorry. This is going to be a thing. I, I didn't actually have mine in my hand, so I didn't get paid for them. So. I can't get these chill. tokens off of this location anymore, uh, either. Hold on. I ah, it. what? Oh, whoops. I'm dumb. I did minus 85, and then... Ah, I'm doing it again. I have 55, 50 money. All right, ah. so hang on. I got paid. Up. I got paid fifty-five twice. Is that that's what happened? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, everybody. That was my bad. I... You're good. It's all good. I'm just How trying to think. Is there you? an argument for the value lost if you go down? We can only park sixty-seven, seventy-one, and seventy-nine right now, right? Correct. Yeah, that's the thing. And if Where's you, pay, if you par at 79, you're immediately losing $11 value, right? No, $13 is, value. Is this the parring token over here? Okay. Uh, no, the, the two that are sitting right here are the parring tokens. One for par, uh, one for stock market. Okay, my question is, Why do I have to do really... Pennsylvania and Norfolk, or do I just do North, uh the Norfolk. You just I'm do not, Norfolk. Not I'm PR. not president of this one. Okay, cool. Right. Perfect. Um, Alan, why do you immediately lose value? 
So $79 times 3 is $237, which is $13 less than the cost of the private. Mm. So even starting at the highest available, you're losing cash. Mm. Uh, which is why the argument for going lower is even worse. Uh, but it's a lot easier to trash your company. I guess it just depends on what... Like, you don't have to worry about it, Alan. I guess for the rest of it's how much we can float at too, though. Yeah. Oh, shit! <laughs> Wait, wh what do you mean? That then. Oh, this probably shouldn't. These probably shouldn't be up there. Let me go there. I don't know if operating first is a bad situation. There's so many damn. Uh, we'll we'll do that. We'll get all the money. Play bad and par higher than sixty-seven. <laughs> uh, so I was next. I will also par at seventy-nine. Okay. Who's next? Is that me? Dealer? I don't know. Yeah, it was. It was uh, because Missouri it's... Pacific and Grand Tur Grand Trunk were the. We're next to each other and next to last. Okay, so it's Pat, yeah, then it's Emu, then it's me. me. Yep. See, this is where I feel. Yeah. All right, my go? Yep. Uh, I'm also going to go 67. We'll see how it goes. I certainly don't know. Well, I don't know either. All right, going into the stock round, uh, I have number one. I will buy an NKP for 67. I swear these buttons are reversed from every other mod, and it's freaking me the heck out. <laughs> they are a rush for every other mod, you are correct. Uh. <laughs> All right, Lily. Um, I'm debating. Uh, we're only going to be wanting one stock round or one operating round. I don't have enough money to float. Meh. I'll still buy one of my own. I pass. Can you cut? It's is it? A, it's not a hard pass, is it? It is not a hard yes, pass. It is. No, what? it's it's not a hard pass. But oh, if you, I technically could sell. You're right. You come. No, you can come back first, in. You can't sell in the first oh. SR. Uh, but yeah, it's not a hard pass. But, I, but if you if you pass then drop out then or sorry then come back into actions you you drop your the thing priority. is I, how can i come back in action? i don't have money yeah you may as well just pass and you get yeah, you get first next sr it's it's fine it's fine there's no other option if i'm not allowed to sell I, huh. I'm, I'm passing so interesting i can Am I the only one potentially able to float a company? Nope. I'm okay, floating because okay. I part at 67. Yep. Okay. Interesting. But there's a lot of two trains to chew through before we get to be able to sell in the greens. Yep. Oof. Okay. That's, that's going to be interesting. Uh, well, I'm just going to... Buy a camp pack, I guess. And he's in four, four, seven. 
Emu? Does this say this closes in whenever that company purchases a train? Correct. Got it. Oh, man. Actually realizing maybe I should have hard lower because then I could have purchased more shares. Eh. Ooh, interesting. Very interesting. Okay. I like it. Uh, I'll buy an NKP. And that's six, so it floats. Lily, you're up. Mm. I, um... <laughs> All about the bad decisions. I'm going to buy one more of mine. Uh, Pat, I'm assuming is still passing, so on to Alan. Yeah. I will buy another camp pack. Emu? Passing. Uh, all right. Do I grab third? I think I do. I got my float. I'll pass. Lily? Um, I will pass. All right, Alan? Uh, well, I gotta finish floating, so. Man, I'm guessing you can just keep That's going, because I think we're all going to keep our priority. Right, so I could theoretically buy an NKP. Which does have some value. NW as well, except that it's not... Well, um, go back. What is where is it? KP's probably it's running. up up in Cleveland. Yeah, you're probably running to Cincinnati. I could be wrong. It's either Cincinnati or Toledo. Yeah, I will purchase. Uh, I'll purchase one. Never sit on. All right. Is that our stock round? Looks Is like so. everyone turn in your old share cards. Uh, do, do. Let's order those real quick. Well, we'll just flip them back and forth. Doesn't really matter. Um, I, I mean, I figure alternating just is easy. Uh, yeah. End of the stock round, nothing's going to rise or anything like that. Going into the OR, private's pay. I pressed it. I like that number. Okay. Uh, first up is the Coburg and Peterborough. Oh, it operates first. Interesting. Yep. Who has the CNP? Lily does. Oh, it's me. Sorry. Spaced out. Um, we don't got time for spacing out. That's why you, I mean, that's why you yelled at me. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, CNP is going to play that way. Why is that so thick? <laughs> why is that so thick? <laughs> why is that so thick? Thick. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. Um, That's a thick boy right there. Holy <laughs> shit. Just a moment of recognizing the thickness needed. They're uh, all that thick. Holy shit. 
Okay. Well, I mean, then, I would hope they were all the same thickness. Oh my lord, they didn't change the thickness of the tiles? Come on. They decided to make really skinny, like, real skinny stations, but super thick tiles. They, they got it backwards. Yeah, just a bit. All right, uh, so it's running for 30, because it's got its inherent oh, two these are s- that's what's happening. They're snapping. And pay out. And that's that's it. It's supposed to be improved thing. mod. Not feeling very improved. <laughs> oh. Well, it just happened. Sorry, that's me make, trying to make the tiles skinnier. That's obnoxious now. Um, uh, but did you, these didn't look changed, though, do they? No, it's not all of them. It, it's it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. All right. Um, the CNP <laughs> ran for thirty. It's done. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so we go on to the. These are so friggin' tiny, and they're not colored. Everything's terrible. Uh, CPR, are you floated? Yes, CPR is floated. Okay. Uh, oh, I never got my charter. boop a doop So I have $790. Okay. So, just do basic stuff. God, there's so many tiles in this game. Turn off my TI rotations. It's an $80 river. Yeah. Send bank. Going back? Uh, yeah. I mean, obviously, I can't these, run, so. These tokens are double-sided. What is wrong with them? <laughs> I noticed that too earlier. I was like, they don't have the gray side. Oh, no. Uh, there's so many freaking two trains. Only two companies being open is not enough to burn through these. I'll just buy four each. Oh. Uh, that's <laughs> not the play. <laughs> You sure? Uh, I mean, at most, I buy three, but the problem is if I buy three, I can't run the third one because I can't actually buy in CNS until we hit green. So I feel like I should probably just buy two for now. Because I can actually run two next turn. God, that feels bad. Also, I'm getting rid of my $40 revenue for this year. It's going to run for 60 plus 39. 60% of 90, is that still more than 40? <laughs> I think it actually is, so it does actually make sense. Um, all right, we'll buy two two trains for bucks each yep and that's all i do okay um i think then it just skips to ckp or nkp right everything else well, is... yeah you're, it if nothing else is floated so yeah all right i'm just gonna move nkb back now uh oh i need to place my home token Oh, I need to do that, too. I believe in this game, it occurs at the start of the company's operating turn. We're okay. timing things. Um, where are we gonna go? Let's drop a straight there. I forgot to ask. This game, if you buy from the bank, it's always up par price, correct? 
Uh, you're not buying it. You're I, not buying it for this price. IPO is par price. Open market is yeah, stock perfect. price. Okay. Price. Yep. I was pretty sure I just wanted to confirm. Yep. Absolutely. Um. Yeah. We'll drop that. We fall back. We'll purchase. Uh. Certainly one two train. We might be running in the yellow phase for a minute. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna get a second one. Uh. And then I don't think. I feel like going any deeper into the yellow. I mean, I could. I've got to run for another one, but I'd rather just wait for the threes. Yeah, or leave it there. Uh, NKP is going to be done. So that's going to be our OR. We'll go back to the SR. First up is Pat. I'm going to buy CP. Seventy-nine. Send it. Emu. I'll pass. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I need to close my BNO private. Alan does too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if it weren't at least running for enough, I probably wouldn't have bought any trains. <laughs> yeah. But I do slightly come out ahead on that transaction. Actually, I don't know where the math lies here. At the 40 revenue, it's almost okay to sit on it. You know. Yeah, I had ideas, and then I didn't follow through on them. But I had ideas. Um. Like, I wonder for like Pat, it does it make more sense for him to eventually par PRR and then just keep sitting on Norfolk and Western for revenue. Hmm. I'll buy Camp pack is seventy nine. Got one fifty one. Buy camp pack. I mean, it's it's running. <laughs> Lily? I will also buy a camp pack. Passing. Me too. Alright, I might do something. Okay. Is so weird. It's almost not a bad thing if you guys dump my stock. It just gets me closer to Grays. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. It's interesting. Huh. It, oh, damn. Does that mean all the numbers get shifted down one? Yeah. Yeah. You cap. CPR is sold out. Uh, Garrick is back to you. Yeah. you can buy another of your own, can't you? I can, yes. Uh, the question is how important is priority right now? Mm, fair.
I will pass. Lily? I am passing. Pat? Oh, I'm still passing. Emu? Yep. Okay. That's our stock round. Uh, at the end, CPR is going to rise up one. Uh, hey, that's, that's the wrong direction, CPR. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have one OR. First up, private's pay. Boom. Uh, then the Coburg and Peterborough runs. Lily. Um... Well, I could just screw everything up, because that'd be funny. You could totally ruin, yeah. You could. No, wait, no, I can't. There's only straight Oh, things. yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, you, you can... I'm I was going to say, I don't really know how you would do that. Uh, I could pretend and have dreams. And Mother, I really hate this. These giant tiles are messing with my death perception, and I don't like it. Yeah. Anyway, I'm uh, running for 30. I will pay out. Uh, Hold on. I will not pay out. Because you have to include the track you lay. I don't know if you're allowed to include... Oh! You have oh. to include the track you lay? You have to include the track you lay. So let me okay. check. So let me check. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, I'm still only going to run the two, though, because I only have a two train. Remember, so you I have to include the anything. track you lay, and you don't have but to you include could... your station. If, if you Wait, lay what? Ottawa, then you can run to Montreal. You can. Yeah, you can run Ottawa to Montreal. That is legal. Oh, I don't, because I don't have to run this. That's so fucking... You, it can only run with things that upgrades or lays. Interesting. But it doesn't have to keep its station. That's so strange. Okay, well, then I'll just pay out for another 30. Well, no. Uh, it's 60. Oh, right. yeah, totally. I got it. I understand. Yes, I got it. Uh -huh. I did that. It, it, it took me a second. I got there. Max! That's, that's odd. I just like okay. this. I mean, I dislike this because I now have, if I'm looking at this right, I have no legal track lays because I can't go through Peterborough. You can go the other direction. Oh, yeah, no, you can't. Never mind. Nope, because we're not in green yet. So I think this is just my track life. Ugh. Okay. Well, anyways, we move on to Camp Pack. Camp Pack. $100? Jeez. Every single station tile is $100 for Campac? For every company. Every company. Is that true? Yep. Yeah, I, I went and checked. Oh. I was curious. The rule book even calls it out. I still hate it. Ugh. Oh my god, and the, the tile is distorted and warped. See, the, see that terrible circle? Alright, so that cost a $100. Yeah, starting an early company doesn't feel like it's actually all that cracked up. Uh, especially since I'm already track locked. I think I chose the wrong company to do this with. Oh, well. CPR paid out? Uh, CPR runs for 90, I think. Wait, what just happened? CPR paid 100 twice? No, that's I must have accidentally hit the button because it's frickin' invisible. Uh, so it's only running for ninety, I think, right? I believe you. I didn't do the math. Uh, four, five, six, two, three. Yeah, ninety. Yep, and there's no revenue tracker, of course, for. The Do I pay out, or do I just start withholding? I mean, it's not like I can pick up any more of the shares since they're all bought, purchased out. That's the problem. Yeah, I think I just need the revenue as I fall too far behind. Anyways. It doesn't say who got paid what. That's annoying. Yeah, I noticed anyway. that. It why would it not say? Oh my lord. Because everything is horrible, Garrick. I. This is make me want to make a 28 mod. 
Um, <laughs> all right, I moved you over on the stock market. CPR is done? Yeah, sorry. Uh, I'm relatively certain there's no value in buying any more trains. Yeah. And I guess, in theory, I could buy a two train, which might free you up to buy two, three. Otherwise, we just have this perpetual stalemate. Because I don't think anyone else is in right now, right? Not yet. Like, not for several stock rounds, I don't think. I guess, actually, Lily's pretty close to floating. Lily probably floats. Uh, I... I'm just going to purchase a two train and potentially create the space for such a thing to happen. I don't know if it's correct or not. Probably not. Oh, yeah. This one doesn't have the like bar at the top either for like how much money you yeah, make. Just, like, drop your token. It's a lot of little things from this that I'm missing from the other one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, maybe, maybe I should have just bought the three twos the first time around. I don't know. NKP is going to go ahead and drop this city. 80 bucks. Uh, then it's going to run for 50. And. 25 bucks. Gonna withhold. Move him back. Okay. He's doing the thing. Doing the thing. Buy his stock. Uh onto the stock round. You're not purchasing trains? I am not purchasing oh. trains. Yeah. Okay. Cannot lead a horse to water. I am sober, sir. Uh, stock round. Let me see. Most I could do would be to buy another of Garrick's. She's currently withholding until he gets to gray, probably. The best counter to that probably is to buy it, honestly. You really want to waste your money like that? Well, the thing is, if you drive it into gray and I, and I somehow end up with priority, I can still buy it. <laughs> I mean, it definitely feels like this is probably a game where we should be actively preventing you from getting that benefit. I mean, speaking of that, I feel like we're probably supposed to be force floating each other with all these B&Os. <laughs> yeah. I was just thinking about that, too. It also opens up the trains if that happens. Yeah, Emu's already getting a lot of value gain. He's got both of his are at 79, which means three people would have to buy into it. Force float it. And this is true for any of them. Three people would have to do concentrated efforts to force float anything. Well, Lily's at five. So you could force float Lily, actually. Anybody could. I don't know that we need to is the thing. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't know if Lily... I was just pointing out, whenever you said no one could force float anyone, I'm just saying there is one thing you can do, that's all. I'm not yeah, saying yeah. to do it. 
Well, I literally can't. I only have seventy one dollars. I have to drop the stock that I have if I'm going to buy anything. Mm. Uh, I think though. No, Pat, I think your position is better than theirs. Um, I will buy a Norfolk and Western for 67. Okay, I'm uh, taking the president's share of PR. Oh, wait, I can buy and sell, right? You can. Yep. Okay, I'm going to, yeah, I'll do that. Just buy and sell just to get it in the market. Very fair. Does that, and it's at since it's on a it's shelf at the bottom. Actually, yep, nothing happens yeah. to it. Um, Where three can go? Yeah, yeah. So that's actually a really an interesting thing. Is I'll play along. Other, yeah. Really? Um. Gonna force float, Pat. Sure. Uh, hmm. What's that? N and W. Yeah, and you could just sell it if you want. That's what we did. I see. We just bought sold. Hmm. I like playing. All right, N and W is. Floated. Uh, you do you don't lose the, that. Yeah, you yeah. keep the private until NNW buys a train. Oh, but oh, right. It's going to buy a train immediately because it has to. It's going to be forced to. It already has a run. But you, but you'll get forty dollars before. True. Yeah. What color? What? Sorry. What is it? The ah, my mouse just died. Mouse. Why? It's you're wired. Why? How did you die? <laughs> I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we probably needed to be doing this in the last stock round. I did, forgot you could do that, where you could buy, sell, buy, sell, just to get things Well, you going. can't buy after you've sold something. But No, but you could, like, if together, everyone did it once, yep. everyone could have done it once to float everybody, turn yep. one. Yep. Well, in the second stock round. I think it it's not going to be as easy to get people on board with that for the people who started at seventy nine with it being on a sh not being on a shelf. Yeah, like the, the first person pulls it gets off scot free. The second person has to take a five dollar loss. The second third person has to take a ten dollar loss. Yep, it, which it's a little more awkward. Yeah, hmm. I didn't think of that whenever I. Oh well, new game. Uh, Emu, what are you doing? Do I put my home thing on right now? Not yet. Not until your company's operating turn, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot. I didn't grab money for it. 670. Not 6,070. Yeah. Campac would be in a much better position if I had done that soon. Well, already not. Do Well, man, Emu has feelings. What? Like, in, in, <laughs> I just realized how like 
terrible that sounded like about this situation. Mm. But I do also have feelings. You do. You are a human being. Um, I'm going to. I don't know. Everything sucks. Who's that? It's it's me. I'm just having a bad time. <laughs> South Park. You know, I'm trying to figure out if you guys forcing me open is a bad thing or not. And I'm not sure this is actually a horrible thing. Because I still get my forty dollars this turn, even though I can't run. And this like It's more just about advancing the board state. Uh, you were getting the most revenue out of anybody sitting at the table just mm. by sitting. Yeah. No, yeah, I get that. I mean, Emo you were also just the same me. person to do it to. Yeah, I just don't know if that actually hurt me as much as I think that guy helped me actually a lot more considering the state of the board for me down here. I think Maybe. you've given me more money. Maybe. I don't know. We shall see. It does force you to split your attention between PRR and and Norfolk and Western. Uh, although hilariously, you could actually sell one of your Norfolk and Western to buy a PRR if you want. Mm hmm. Don't know if that's a good idea. Oh, Emu, did you go? I'm just talking. Yeah, I just took... I just passed. You just took the pass, okay. Uh, does it... Make sense. I am... Let's see. P... So there... And up there... I feel like there's competing interest here because, like, on one hand, it would be nice to get more companies on the table. On the other hand, I don't want to just let Garrick get 80% of his own company. I feel like that's a really bad idea. Well, I don't think that's going to happen at this rate. Hey, Shazner. It's, um... I mean, all you have to do is withhold a single additional time and maintain a high enough priority that you can purchase two. And also have the cash for that. Well, you sell off your can pack and there you go. Cash got. Yeah, you have a point. I think, they, I think you are underrating, intentionally underrating your capacity to do this thing. Uh... I'm just going to go ahead and buy another NKP, and we'll see if other people follow me into the hole or not. I pass. Well, that's enough, right? Because that's no, 30, there's that's thirty percent. Still, there's still because I have left, but yeah, I only have fifty percent right now. Yeah, so it's impossible for him to get to eighty percent. Yeah, I mean he he could still. Oh yeah, I guess it's eighty. What's the big deal about eighty percent again? It's it gives an extra bump. stop bump. Yeah. Right. If the company sold out anyway, so you guys I, could I always just special is yet the double bump, and then if you're in the gray, you get a triple bump, right? Yeah. Yeah, or I guess it... its own double. Like you can shut this all down by just leaving one of my shares in the bank pool. Assuming I don't have the cash to buy it. Uh... 
How does putting it in the bank pool help? Because it still has to be sold out, remember? Ah. Uh. If it's not sold out, it doesn't get any of the bonuses. Yeah, but then whenever he pays out, he gets money into it like he's withholding. We'll see. That has its own penalties. I forget, you can only buy two in the gray as well, right? You can't just buy them all. But the yeah, president you can, can buy yeah, two. The president two. can buy two at a time, yeah. Right. It's sort of a cool combination of brown, orange, yellow without mm. being full brown. Um... Yeah, so we have to be careful because if we leave it in there and he's hovering around the gray, he can just buy two at a time. Ooh. Well, that's like my play right now is kind of counterplay against that. I'm trying to encourage Garrick to actually run his company. Yeah. Like, especially if it if it ends up being sold out such that there's no shares potentially for him to buy at all like this a pass this is the awkward thing yeah garrick passes here he gets priority there's still there's still two shares that he can buy which means he can still get the value of buying the two shares at once he doesn't get the 80 percent which is a sp sadness for him but i don't know garrick passed yeah like my personal opinion is I do I still think someone probably should buy at least one more share of it, but I I can't force people to do that. I don't know. He he's my he's I'd... my buddy over here in the West. <laughs> I also have no money. Give me some money. Yay, Lily! Oh wait, you took my money away from me by planting the idea of let's buy his shares and float his company. <laughs> <laughs> I my mean, money. You, you spent your money on a company that's not even floated yet. Sure. I want to make sure I got the president's share of it. Is that wrong? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> None of what we're doing is good. Let's be real here. <laughs> <laughs> Lily, did you take an action? Good. Okay. Uh, Lily bought an NKP. Yep, so Emu? Uh, still pass. Uh, Pat? Still pass. Uh, I'm still on passing. Uh, oh, wait, did I skip? No, sorry, I skipped Alan. Alan's before Pat. Uh, it, I would pass at that point. Yep. I think I have no money left, so then selling uh, doesn't make sense. Pat passes. I'm still passing. Uh, Lily? I pass. Okay, that's our stock round. I'm going to put back the old cards. Uh, at the end, let's see, is CPR still sold out? Looks like it is. So it rises up. Uh, that's going to be it. We have 1OR. First up is CPR. CPR. Oh, first Duh. up is the... Oh yeah, the minor, oh right? I'm sorry, you're right. Privates pay, and then the miner is up. Okay, Peterborough. So um, this this miner is weird because you have to lay track, but you have to run that track, which means you just don't get to run this turn. Can you? No, you can't lay the ooh because you need yellow. Yeah, right? we're not in green yet, so you can't lay this. You can't run this turn. Oh well, there it is. Are you gonna lay track though? I can't. Can you I? Can, you can lay track, you just won't run. Oh, that's fine. I wasn't going to run oh, anyway. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Could, could it not run and play some of its treasury to run drop berry? It's oh, no, because it can't yet. connect to it. Yeah. Right, never mind. Thinking ahead, there needs to be track before so you can run. You can't just go <laughs> through a field. My bad. That's how train works. That is how trains work. All right, I'm good. Okay. God damn it. Uh, now CPR. No worries, Pat. <laughs> uh, CPR is in the wrong turn order for everything. Everything is war. Uh, CPR just pays out for 90 again, because that's the only thing it can do. Alright, I'll move you over. And then next up is going to be Norfolk and Western, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so they do the free one, which they have to put here, correct? Mm-hmm. Now I'm going to do... Where is it? Where's my hard track? That one. 
to the deep south. Hold on. We're gonna do that, and then I go to train buying. Correct. Uh, you fall back, and then you go to train buying. And I'm gonna hey, buy a two. Uh, what's up? I should have more than nineteen dollars after paying out sixty percent of ninety dollars. What is happening? Oh no! Oh, it might not pay out. I didn't get money. What? Yeah, I didn't get money. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is the worst mod. This. So that means every payout up to this point hasn't been giving money either. Yeah. No, which Did... would have dramatically impacted all of the <laughs> stock rounds. Privates didn't even pay? The no, private's private paid. paid. It's just the... Does, it's just, does Alan it's only... just... How much money did Alan have before privates paid? $4? It's not private. It's his running that didn't pay. Yeah. Then, the, the, com the running, running company... Money? Didn't pay out. I, I was I was worried nothing was paying out. Uh, no, I didn't realize Alan only had four bucks beforehand. Um, so the the problem is I don't know how we fix this right. from a gameplay perspective. We like can't. We've had we've had multiple ORs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, because you should have like another fifty dollars yeah, no, in that yeah, last bidding these, round. Yeah, these two paid out last OR, didn't they? Yeah, they they no, both paid no. out two ORs. No, they one OR paid out. No, I've, I've, this is the second OR. OR for you, Alan, but we haven't gotten to Garrick's company for yeah. Oh, it OR. would have just oh, been an yes. extra 50? Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh. you would have had only 50, and Garrick would have had a little uh, bit less. Actually, I mean, we, we, I think, I think we just time. pay it out now, and then just yeah. go that's forward. That's the only real way we can... But why is it not paying out? Well, that's the problem. Like, functionally, are we just going to do the math on every single payout for the num percentage of shares? Like, Is there no payout button? Where's the payout button? It's I'm invisible... It but it's not well, it's invisible and two it's not even doing anything if you look at the log yeah we've played a mod where it works i don't know why this wouldn't be working uh no they didn't i'm gonna try i'm, I'm gonna try a hundred dollars on mine i'll just do negative if i need to so mine works Gar mine works Garrick. wait why does yours yours mine works but <laughs> alan's does it Garrick, can you run yours real quick oh yeah, because you didn't actually pay out last round. I was, I'm was i the only one who's paid out in this game so far. Hold on. Hold on. Let me try something. Yeah, you're right. Gar yeah, you're the only one that's paid out. You would have paid out 90 the last time as well. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. So you would have been at an extra... Um... Watch Campac be the only broken one, and that was happens to be the one that we ran first. So you'd be at an extra 53. Which wouldn't have changed anything bidding-wise, having extra $53. Because you would have had fifty seven dollars. Uh, it might total. have impacted what I purchased. Uh, I mean, I guess like it's like Emu said. I mean, we can still just move forward and I just kind of am at a disadvantage for not having the utility of the money that All I right. was supposed to have. Give it a shot. There you go. There it is. They didn't know how to friggin' program the shares properly and they used the wrong company name on the shares for the company. All right, so oh. let, me do, let me hit it again because I'm paying out this round. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Except for people. I don't know if I. No, people didn't buy CPR. We're good. No, CPR was sold out I... after the first yeah. OR. It was sold out. Yep. Because it's rise twice already. Yes, you're right. I did buy it last time. Mm -hmm. No I wonder remember. we were so friggin' poor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone would have had a bit more money. I was like, how does nobody have enough to force buy any to, to force float anybody? This is I thought it was real weird. Well, you guys yeah. all would have had an extra nine dollars. I would have that probably I probably would have forced or tried to force float another person rather than just trying to take Garrick's benefits. Oh well. It, it is oh well. what it is. Well, let's it just is, play it forward from here. It is a learning game. We're, we're probably going to end up calling this in an hour or so anyway, because it's going to get late. When I fall asleep on the table. Yeah. Right. You already, <laughs> did you already moved Campac forward? I did, yes. I'm pretty sure. All right. Campac Why is, is my printer freaking out? It's my fault. Did you just I print something it. while I'm on stream? I, I didn't mean to. <laughs> I'll be right back. It's fine. I finished what I was doing <laughs> yes. over I'm here. I sent my video. money to the bank. I'm good. Okay. Uh, Emu's grabbing a drink. Yeah, we certainly need one, Emu. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> this is funny. I, did, I was wondering why it didn't say anything. And then, like, the, we would have noticed the second someone else paid. I'm like, why did that say what was happening? Right. It was hard because I didn't 
pay out, so we didn't have anything uh, to compare it to. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, I'm laying... Are we not... Oh, we are in green. It's you, yeah. We're in you. green. That's the important part. Green. That's what I had to check. Yes. That's, I, oh, I forgot. I trigger green by doing that. Yeah, mm. baby. Mm, that's unfortunate. Oh, well. All right, I got 40 in the company. I got plans. Yeah, that's unfortunate, but I needed that three train. Actually, if anything, it's probably fine. This is a much longer game. Well, the other ones it feels like we're also there's also a giant learning curve going spent, on. I mean, that's we spent fair. like 45 <laughs> minutes uh, going through the rules and stuff. Yeah, so. and it's funny. I feel like we went through so much of it, and it's like the only thing that's like the big thing that would have been different was the merging, and it actually isn't that complicated once we understood it, right? Right, right. The basics, anyway. God. Um. Yeah, we're just being silly. I'm gonna go through with my plan. Uh, I'm gonna buy in my privates. Oh Max shoot! Right. Value. This is this is gone because I bought a train. Sadly, it's gonna be one twenty and twenty. It's gonna be two forty and forty for two eighty. Uh, I say, can I actually? I forgot to do that. Can I buy in my private real quick? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Fine. Thank you. Uh, at the time of I... purchasing in Erie and Kalamazoo, I get to lay a yellow track tile at E7, uh, which is the double dit over there. I have no clue what to place, but let's make it... Seems like it could be construed as helpful. I don't know if that's the right choice. No, that's good. It's helpful. Like that. It's the wrong choice. I like it. No, I do like it. Um. Okay, and then. Uh, pretty sure I laid that track. No, I didn't lay track for the company yet. It'll lay. Cincinnati, it'll token Cincinnati, it's going to run for 50 and 50, that's 100, let's Pay out. And be done. All right, that is our operating round. Back to a stock round. First up is Emu, who is away. I know we're not done this one yet, but I'm really interested to do this whenever we're not like just kind of getting started at 1130. Yeah, mm -hmm. not just getting started, but like took so long to get into it because this is there's some really I feel like this is so much more onto this one. Yeah, this is a really interesting one. Uh, Emu, you are up in the stock round. Awesome. Uh, just need to do some math.
I'm back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Well, this sucks. Nine dollars short of what I want to do. So I'll take number one. <laughs> okay, Pat. Oh boy. I'm going to buy. Can I do that? I'm going to do... Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to buy Gar. All right, my go. I'm going to dump NKP. Oh. Congratulations, Alan. You're the proud president of the NKP. Alan's never going to talk to me again. I'm just going to... 64. Too close. One, Try. two, three, four. One, two, three, uh. four. Lovely. Because my board position wasn't bad enough already. Interesting. Um, Part 94. Oh, we still have some B&Os out there. Hey, I'm going to spend this round getting them open. Let's see, MP and GT. <gasps> That's Let's buy a share of it's hard to read all these different symbols and you don't know them. Share yeah. of GT for seventy nine. All right, Alan? Hmm. There's Hod. Well, um, I guess I'll buy two NKPs from the. Can't say a little one for that. Lily? Mm. Really, Arizad? Nice. Actually, hang on. What's up? Holding on. What, uh, what is the procedure for mergers exactly? Sure. All right. Mergers. Flip into the rule book. Learning time. Woo! Woo! <laughs> um, all right, you must be the director of at least one of the two companies. Um, they must, the directors of both agree, companies must agree. Uh, they can't be part of a system already. Uh, and then they must, must either both be old companies or new companies or new and unfloated. Uh, you announce which of the two public companies will remain as the new system. The shares, station markers, stock price marker, and par price markers used for the system will match the selected company. The merger marker is placed on the stock price of the new system. That's what we talked about before, where you will count up the uh, leftmost of the two stock prices uh, plus half of the writer, more rightmost stock price, uh, and count up from the leftmost stock price until you hit the correct spot. Uh, once you have your determined system share price, you will do, 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 uh, trade shares of the two companies 
to get uh, shares of the system. So starting with you, you will trade two shares. You'll, you'll trade pairs of shares of the two companies mm -hmm. uh, and take a corresponding share of the system. And you do that until you have an odd number of shares left over uh, of the two companies. And you will then either buy that up to... Oh, sorry. Yeah, it, it doesn't make sense yet. That's fine. Yeah. But um, to be clear, the buy up part with the odd number actually starts with the person after the president. And the president does that last of everybody. That's something I did not make clear in the teach. because I forgot it was a thing. Interesting. Anyways, uh, continue. Lily, right? Yes, it was Lily. Um, go. Yeah, why do I have this for? Uh, I'm gonna pass. Uh, Emu's still passing. Um, you know what? Maybe it's maybe it's time to have a little bit of fun. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's time to play the game. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I guess I'll I'll join the dump train of that. Ooh. <laughs> That's dangerous. I know they're backwards from where they should be, aren't they? <laughs> there, that's the right way. <laughs> Jeez, I'm too, I'm too zoomed out, so I can't actually read it. So I was just guessing. <laughs> um, okay. Then, and it's you can sell as many as you want. Yep. Yep. Like normal, okay. normal rules. All right, I'm gonna sell a Grand Trunk and a Missouri Ooh. Pacific. Now that's something I hadn't thought of: is that you can sell. All right, I've dropped I mean, it. GT and CPR. Oh, sorry, is it MP? No, it, uh, sorry. MP, MP, yeah. MP, MP. Uh, which one do you want to be first to the spot? Do you care? Um, let's do Grand Trunk first. Okay. I just had to see what math worked out to. Um, I will then par New York, New Haven at 71. That's awesome. Okay, uh, Pat? I'm going to... Take the presence of you know. Interesting. Oh, I had to set par for that. I'm sorry. I didn't do that. Da -da -da. One sec. It's 67, so you can continue your turn. But I'm going to go do that real quick. Yeah, I'm thinking through the ramifications of Emu's protective play. It was smart. It was smart. Had to go and make things complicated, huh? What are you worried he's gonna dump Grand Trunk on you? Well, I mean, certainly I don't want to grab well, twenty percent he... of the company uh, just for it to drop two more stock spaces. You know, that's not well, great for my value. You, 
This is true. I mean, you could buy one, sell both. I could. Uh, it doesn't force float it, though. And I don't know how no, much people not. are going to want to jump on board when it's now losing a lot I mean, of value. To... I am definitely not in a position to do anything. Right. You, you pretty much guaranteed that. Uh, you definitely didn't have to drop the station token. Just going to point that out. <laughs> It'll help you in the long run. Yeah, uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you a great company. Isn't that what people were afraid of me having? Um, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm certainly. Yeah, I don't know the best play for what you did, Emu. I'll, I'll go ahead and. Um, I'm just going to offload my GT for 74. Uh, maybe we'll play this a different way. Making things weird. It's the goal, right? Make things weird? Let's go ahead and are what companies are good i have no clue <laughs> zero idea how to evaluate this map uh let's let's par b and m b and m you could work with emo to float storm uh I don't even need to work with him for that. I can just do it. <laughs> yeah. You jerk with all your money. <laughs> Oops. There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, gaining money. No. Yeah, no, I fixed it. I, I'm so used to the other mods where they're the opposite yeah, positions. <laughs> do, do, do. 67. 67. I'm done. Alan. Okay. Now I'm going to do the merger, and I think it's going to be funny. Okay, so okay. which company is going to be the system? Can't pack. Can't pack. Okay. Uh, Can't pack is. It should shoot up to one forty. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Let me see. Ninety five plus twenty four. Uh oh, it's half the value. Oh, okay. So I've been misevaluating a little bit. So it's one nineteen. Uh, one nineteen. Yeah, it won't so be. It goes up to one seventeen. It goes up to 170. This is still the right play, though. Yeah, I think you're right. Um... <laughs> yeah, it doesn't actually clarify they're equally left. But it says the new stock price is the largest value that is not larger than the larger of the two stock prices plus half the smaller rounding down. Okay, 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 I get it, yeah. Yeah, you have it right. Uh, so going up from CPR, we need to find 95 plus uh, 24. 119. Uh, so 117 is your spot. Yeah, I forgot that it was half, but yeah. this is still... I still think it makes... Sense. I mean, I guess I could run a couple of rounds and do this. Or you could try it just to try it. Yeah, because if you run a couple rounds, because you're on a double OR, they both go up. Like, this goes up to, right? Yeah. That's true. This goes, this goes to 1111. So then you're adding 111 plus half of 55. You're at 130, and you go up to, like, what, 127 instead? Like yeah. If you do another turn after that, it goes even higher, well, as long as no one fucks with you? Well, no, because remember, uh -huh. if, if CPR moves farther to the right than NKP, okay. you're going to be rising up from NKP for the new stock value. You'll... But that's still not necessarily a problem. I mean, I'm running from 111 plus 20... Well, no, you're doing the opposite. Or... Now you're taking this no, one and you're no. adding half of this one. No, he's right, Pat. He would just... He, he does that math, but then he 
finds a stock price from this position. Oh, so then it doesn't matter. So he goes, so he'll still go up to back up to like one seventeen up here anyway. Well, it's one eleven right? plus fifty five is not that much bigger. That twenty six. So you'd be you'd end up at one thirty. Yeah, I, I don't think, think you'd break one forty. It's it's better for me to do it now. Makes sense. Is yeah. okay. All right. Anyways, we'll do that. Um. So let's go through the full procedure. Uh, we found our target spot. Um, the assets of the two companies are combined. Uh, they're both floated, so we don't have to worry about that. No coal tokens. Uh, station markers of the other public company on the map and on the new systems charter are replaced with station markers of the new system. So uh, replace all the NKP tokens with CPR tokens. Wait, 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 wait. What's up? Quick question. Sure. But actually, no, I guess it doesn't. If I own more enough that I end up with more than 60% of the system, does that create a problem? Probably not. I don't think it does. Uh, no, okay. Sorry, continue. It's okay. Um, so yeah, you're replacing all the NKP tokens with CPR tokens, using those extra ones there. Yep. Uh, trains stay where they are. Then it's time to trade shares, starting with you, uh, and then proceeding in turn order. You will trade pairs of shares of either or both merging public companies for single shares of the new system, if available. Uh, so, CanPack is the system, so you trade in basically... Yep, and then that gives you... Yep, just like that. Good. Keep going. What happens to the old share? It's just going to get discarded out of the game. Oh, okay. Wait, I just continue? Yeah, just keep going. You do it in pairs oh. of shares until you're done. Oh, then this is actually a really bad idea, because there won't be enough... Will there be enough? Because you're going to... So, well, basically, so, the way this will end up happening is I'll end up with one can pack in the bank pool or in the discard, I guess. Uh, trade in these to get one. You trade in these to get this one. You trade in these to get one, I think. Yeah, I have to discard one of these, I guess. So that's what you would have I, after. Yeah, I shouldn't. I should end up with 50% of it. Yeah. Yeah, you do. You do. Uh, okay. And then we would trade in ours. Um, and at the end, you're going to have to donate one share to the company, as you recall. The uh, system. Why is that exactly? It's just part of the merger rules. It just... You but have like, to... what is the function of the one share in the... Like, what does it do? I think it's honestly just a punishment. I don't think it does anything. It doesn't even pay to the company. I don't think so. Let me let me see. I'm fi I, again. I'm I'm questioning the value of this. Then directory receives like no lose... compensation for the donated share. Uh, the donation may change which player is the director of the system. Um... Like I, I lose I lose half the value of all of my NKP shares. And then on top of that, I lose one of the combined shares? Like, in what world is this a good idea? Well, you no longer have liability for the second company. Yeah. 
I think it also is like an end game thing to kind of double your score so you're close. Like if you have two like high, like around here type thing, right? If you get one at two eighty three and like one. Well, the thing is, share, share density is always just like king in all of these games. Is the thing. I think it can oh. also be really good for making a ridiculously long train on like the last turn for a diesel. I mean, good news. Maybe. The ten percent share on the system does pay to the system. I just found that. It's tucked back in the just, system section. I'm just wondering. I mean, I think it might just be that this isn't the right time to do this because if I'm down to forty percent of the company, I'm only I'm sitting on three shares and nothing else, and that's shares I can't sell because, yeah, you know, then someone else just comes in and takes control over it. I don't know. I think if if I was sitting at fifty percent of the thing, but I didn't, I had forgotten about the ten percent that you give to the bank. Yeah. I'm sorry, I think I just need to reverse this and pass. That's fine. <laughs> That's learning game. Yeah. Yeah. Void. Yeah, Joe, we have no clue what we're doing. We're just... Absolutely not. <laughs> pulling levers. Pushing well, buttons. we're having fun doing it. <laughs> or else. Yeah, or else. Yeah, right. Everyone's having fun, right? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'm, I'm passing. I will sit me. Yeah, I'm still. Pa- oh wait, no, it's not me. It's me. Yeah, I'm still it passing. Th- this should this should have switched because I did something on my last turn. Oh yeah. Goes and back. I'm gonna do something on this turn too. Oh my god, it's so excited. <laughs> I know it's the worst. Joe, this mod is the worst, by the way. We've been struggling with it the whole night. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, taking the target off. Oh yeah, thank you. And Pat, you're up. Um, uh, gonna buy Pennsylvania. I'm buying another B and M. Uh, Alan, passing. Uh, oh god damn it! I should have bought. <sighs> I should have bought another of these damn NKPs last turn. I didn't. And if it makes you feel better, I think Emu and I are still going to be taking actions. Yeah, it just hurts my overall position. Oh no, just say I, you took I'm, it. It's fine. He took it and he passes this turn. It's not a big deal. It's, it yeah, take it's, it's really not a big yeah. deal either. It's, it's fine. Um, I'm okay uh, with it. I mean, I, I mean, I think Pat's floating PR. Right. Yeah, I'm doing so, something anyway. All three of us are doing something this turn, so I don't think it changes absolutely anything. Okay. Whatever. Okay. You're fine. Don't worry about it, Alan. Lily passing? I'm just, yep. I'm just getting grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's not like Garrick dumped a company that isn't doing very well on you or anything. <laughs> Pat, you're up. Sorry. Uh, I'm floating PRR. Yeah, him. Honestly, wouldn't have minded that much, except that he did drop the token. When. Like, uh, I get PR. that that's the typical play, but I was already in a bad spot. Um, all right, I bought a B&M, so Alan's back to you, passing. Uh, Lily, passing. Yep. Uh, Evo? Oh. What happened? Why do I have 497 money? Why do you have 497 money? PR pay- you, you paid out with PR. Oh, ah. I did take from bank. Uh, one sec. Thank you. No, you probably hit the invisible button. Oh, wait, no. I see. Yeah, no, you, you hit the invisible payout button. Yep, you did. Yeah, because I, I hit th- minus, minus my mute button. Sorry. Why are these buttons invisible? Because this anyway. mod is good. trash. We're good. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah, no, whenever oh. I hit my minus button on my numpad, it mutes my Discord. <laughs> so if I ever mute randomly, that's why. Got it. Good to know. Um, okay, I'm buying a B&M. There we go. Uh, emu. Buy another one. Uh, back to Pat. Yeah.
Okay. Care about that? Do I want? Do I care about having three for next turn? Probably. Probably. Yeah, I'm gonna take three. All right, circling back to e to me. Uh, I will buy B and M and float it. Ooh, come on. Get in my hand. I'll take the four. Why is that one? Not, okay, why is it not going in your hand? <laughs> The hand is too high, or the lift height's too low. One of the the two. Uh, back to Emu, taking the four. Yeah. Okay. Um. Still haven't done that yet. All right, coming back to me. Let's do. Let's sell four. Wow. Three, four, and let's par whatever the heck else we feel like. Um, yeah, sure, let's do B and O. Oh, there, is there a B and O out already? I have the president's share of it, yes. You have the president's share. Where'd you par it at? 67. <laughs> yeah, let's buy a B and O. Okay. For 67. Okay. All right, hold up. I might come out of retirement for this. <laughs> Boston and Maine's at 67. That's a juicy, juicy buy for. Yeah. to do some math. Yeah, Joe, we um we had a slow start. Only two of us floated companies in the first SR. I think SR2 we didn't float anymore. It wasn't until mm -hmm. SR3 where we started force floating people. I think this is SR3. Is this SR3? Yeah. Yes. Oh, then we force floated somebody in SR2? We first floated Pat, Pat and in SR2. SR2. And then... And now here yeah. we are in SR3. And I'm starting a float storm. That's about Cause right. Because I, I got to buy in my privates. Whoopsie. And dump a company. Oh, god damn it. I accidentally hit the privates button, mm. guys. I'm, mm. I'm sorry. It's all right. Uh... Subtracted yeah, from I'll just take, oh, yeah, I'll just take my own value out, my things. Yep. Yeah. This mod, I dislike. It is, it is yeah, a this, not good mod. This mod's uh, having just a little I'm bit of a sending, struggle. What's going yeah. on? Send to bank, right? Yeah, send that to bank. Wait, what? Why do uh, I... You don't want to I transfer just... negative 15 to the bank. Oh. No, just hit 15, send to bank. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I was I was I, doing that before too, but you only need negative if you're. I don't know what's out. happening. It's um, all good. <laughs> I think. Oh, this is. This is less than. Sorry, yeah, don't mean slow. You're fine. <laughs> Use a feature of tokens that fell through everything. <laughs> Yeah, Joe, I found this one on the workshop today, and it was like 1828 improved, and I, I loaded it up just to like quickly glance at it. I was like, oh, yeah, this looks better than the other one I looked at. Um, and then we started playing, and the problems started showing up. I'm, I'm not going to lie. My biggest, besides the hit, there's like about two big pet peeves from this one. One is the hidden buttons, because I hate hidden buttons. But the second one is how thick... The tractiles are. Tractiles are thick. They don't need to be that thick. 
tokens are thin and and they're all white on the side so you can't see how many are stacked uh they have no reverse side so you can't flip them to know who ran okay. uh it's who, a, it's a who gets the t so we're me moving. yeah emu drop your four now it's lily's turn yep sorry for that long decision making process I'll pass. Emu? Still pass. Pat? Yeah. Is it raining? It just I'm a little raining. annoyed. I'm a little annoyed. Only a little? I won't lie. Yeah, I'm a little annoyed. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to make sure someone else is annoyed. I'm going to buy OSH and sell it. Your floater lily. Thank you very much. I was waiting for somebody to do it. <laughs> nice. Lily Which means I was an H drop too. All right. Uh, so it's on to me. I will buy a B and O. There we go. Uh, to Alan. I will buy another. Boston to Maine. Uh, all right. Lily passing. Yep. Emu passing. Yep. Pat. Bought my B and O. Bought a B and O. I did. <laughs> okay. I'll buy a B and O and then dump my other two. I'm gonna be that I'll way. Grab it. So rude. <laughs> I mean, I already had the president's chair. All he did was float it for me. So thank you. I don't know. Yeah, that one. I did force you to put some money into it at least, which is something you I did. forced you to defend it. What is happening in the bank pool right now? Madness. <laughs> I've never seen this. There's so many shares in the bank pool, it's ridiculous. Mind you, I only have four games of experience, but this is really, like, mind-boggling for me. <laughs> you said you wanted this, right, Pat? Yeah. I did! I just wasn't expecting the chaos from <laughs> Wasn't- you wanted it, doesn't mean he's ready for it. That's, Holy crap. You know, you have a point there. I love it, but I'm so, like, what is going on? Um, Alan, you're up. Oh, okay. Oh, I will yeah. just another B&M. All right. <sighs> I am not sad about this. I'm not particularly sad either. I can I can sell them and get all my value back. I'm fine with it because it's on a it's on a shelf. So. Oh, not all of it. I can only sell one of it. But yeah, no, it's still same same deal. That is so it. Um, all right, are oh, we... Garrick, you, Garrick, you can sell it all. There's no bank pool limit, right? Oh, is there no bank pool limit in this game? Yeah, I think it's just you can't have a director share in there. That might be right. <laughs> but you can... So wait, B&M could be running and getting 60% off of its payouts? What? Uh... <laughs> Joe confirms there's no bank pool limit. Hot diggity dog. This is... This is insanity. <laughs> Garrick, what are you doing to us? <laughs> um, Alright, Alan took the last action. Lily passing, Emu passing, back to Pat, I'm assuming? I'm gonna pass for now. I'll take number three, we'll see if it lasts. Oh... Pretty safe to assume I'm passing. Okay. Um... Wow, there's no bank pool limit. Wild. Wild stuff. Um, but what's Just my next pass. target? Why would I pass? I have so much money! <laughs> Just let it ride, it'll be fine. Let it ride. Yeah, I knew there was no cert limit, Joe. I just didn't realize there was no bank pool limit. I hadn't put that one together. 
game is silly. This game is so silly. All right, let's let's go for NYC. Does anyone have NYC yet? No. A par NYC at sixty-seven. <laughs> is it back to me? I'm not doing anything. If you're just doing NYC, yeah. All right, speak up and forever hold your peace, people. I'm gonna start buying NYCs. Uh, hang on. Okay, hanging on. Oh wait, no, I already sold it. Nope, you're good. Okay, I'm gonna start buying NYCs. Thirty percent. Forty percent. Fifty percent. Sixty percent. Let's dump it. Oh my god. Um, I just. Like I think it. I see. I see what's happening, and I'm not sure if I like it or not. I just like it. Because he's gonna have presidents with only two, and just make. Oh no. Uh, but he won't be able to defend them all, right? No way. No, he's just trying to float as many companies as possible to get track and going then and pick the yeah. Yeah, the thing he's is, just having fun. <laughs> yeah, but like, I see what he's doing because he's gonna have like three companies. No, he's got, no wait. Alan took one of them, so he'll only have two. But like, I mean, he could. Yeah. Here's the thing: he could still dump his two Boston domains. Like, that's no longer liability for him. He's got, I mean, honestly, the I mean, the yeah. only thing he can't dump is his NYC. So, like, it's a question of how far does he want to take it. I don't know if he has enough money to float more than three or four, but even that, the impact on the train <laughs> rush in this game would be ridiculous. Yeah, because all these companies are going to need trains. Oh, yeah, they are. And twos burn at blue. Oh, boy. All right, anyone want to do anything, or is it coming back around to me? I'm not doing anything for now. I'm good. Emu? Um. That's what I'm aiming for, Joe. Blaze of fire. Yeah. I kind of am contributing to this by buying into Boston and Maine, but Buying into Boston and Maine was kind of my way of. Oh, I don't blame you. Yeah, not, you not, you, not. you needed that company. I'm pretty sure I would have done the same thing in your position. Yep. Uh, FYI, I just fixed. I forgot that the privates in. Yep, I got gotcha. you. Uh, NPK had paid out. I got gotcha. you. Oh, I don't like this. Uh, this might have been easier just to play this on Jeez. on dot games. Almost. It it might yeah, be. Yeah. Oh, with, it is. With how annoying it's hundred percent is. This mod is. What you doing, Emu? Yep, that's it. I'm just selling to N Y H. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, coming back around to me, I'm assuming. Okay. Uh, let's grab the presidency of... Got the NYC. What's that? The, what frustrates me the most is that he has NYC and there's nothing really anyone can do about it. Or not once, NYH. And NYH well... so much early on. Thing is, Emu has control over NYNH, which means he can basically make NYC practically a dud company. Mm -hmm. Oh, he has NYC. No, I got it backwards. Never mind. Okay, I thought Garrick had this one, but Garrick has this one. Never mind. Yeah, I mean the opposite is true. He could uh, he could make Boston and made a dumb a dud company. I just don't know why he would choose to do that, given that Garrick is. Really good position. I, I don't know if that's true. I'm taking on a ton of liability if I keep these. <laughs> yeah, this is what happened last time. I'm having flashbacks of the game yeah. ending in bankruptcy. Uh, yeah. Don't get me wrong. Let's Eric, no, one, no one's going to come bail you out of this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I grabbed CNO. Uh, anyone have anything they want to do? No. 
No, yeah. you, you do you. Take your take it, you know. Go ahead. Just just keep on keep on keeping on. Um. No, I, don't, I, I feel I, like I, we I'm do done. need to float Emu at some point just to get his eighty freaking revenue out of his hand. I agree. I think he's a bigger threat than I am. Because he's making a hundred and fifty. I mean, the, the person, turn. the person who could do that is actively not doing that. So, uh, Lily could also do it. I could do what? You could force float one of Emu's BNOs. I think it's Grand Trunk has fifty percent out or something like that. One of the two does. Mm. Yeah. No. Yeah. Exactly. All right. I'm gonna start buying CNOs. Thirty percent. Forty percent. 50%, 60%, uh, let me make sure I have money for all that, one, two, three, four, I do, so one, two, three, four, dumping it. Our cat snores really loudly. She does. <laughs> so flippin' loud. Alright, anybody doing anything? Or is it coming back to me? Nobody else can do anything. Yeah, enjoy your insanity. All by yourself. <laughs> These are all at 67, Garrick? These are all at 67. I think I grabbed NYC. I just didn't grab CNO. Where is CNO? There it is. Thank you. No, you didn't. I think I gave it to you. I don't remember. I gave one to Alan. I, I literally just gave him both companies. Oh, okay. So. Not that I gave this one really matters. Earlier. I don't remember what it was. Maybe it was mine. <laughs> I don't remember. Um, what presidencies are left? Wabash, Erie, Ick, Michigan Central. Let's grab Michigan Central. At this point, you really don't think floating emu is the best thing you could do, Garrick? Well, who said I'm done? Yeah. How Pretty much money are you going to... <sighs> Pretty soon you're going to be out of money. <laughs> this is true. This is true. All right. Buying up uh, MC. Go for it. One. Two. All right, I'm out of money. Let's make some money. We'll just drop the B&Ms. That'll be share three and share four. Uh, Ooh, I don't know why I just rotated those. I don't think I'm going to keep them all. <laughs> He doesn't think he'll keep them all. <laughs> I'm going to step away for a second while Garrett continues his shenanigans. Okay. Sounds good. One, two, three, four. We'll dump them all back in. Um, yeah, I don't know where this ends. Well, uh, are you just going to keep going? Is that your plan? I'm pretty sure this ends in you bankrupting if you go any further. <laughs> Probably. I can't force float GT because I already sold it. I'm pretty sure. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, you did. Yeah, I was pretty sure I did. Yep. I don't have... MPs. I'd have to drop shares down to a, a liability zone for me to do anything, so I can't. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll buy an MP for 74. Going back around? Emu, did you want to do anything? Nope. Okay. I'll buy another one. Uh, do, 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 do. there it is. Where are we sitting? Uh, with shares out there right now. That's two, three, four, five. It should just be four, right? 
That's it. Is there none? There's not any in the bank. There's one here. There's one here. I was going to say, I thought there was one oh, in the bank. Wait. How much did yeah. you... Wait, why are you spending 74? Is it... Oh, shit. How much is it it's supposed to be? 79? It's, it's 79 for the for the par. Yep, yep. Thank you. So I need to spend 10 bucks. Okay. Sorry, yeah, I thought you were buying... I thought you had been buying from the bank. No, nope, um, I'm being a dullard. Uh, there's five out there. Yeah, I'll uh, sit on the two, so you can dump it on me if you want. Yeah, I'm thinking if I want to hop in and buy. So, is the intent in the game design that we're supposed to force float each other? I think it like, probably is. Like, are we supposed to be wanting to sit on this cert the whole game? I think so. Because I it... think opening opening early has not really helped my board state at all. I, I think... Knowing that this is a riff on 1830, where you'd normally want to force float the B and O, uh, that feels like what you probably want to do is to force float each other in the first couple SRs, uh, push the trains a bit so that people can buy in privates, and then people can go nuts with companies like this. Yeah, so that's a thing. Can pack has been damaged pretty significantly by not being able to buy in privates. Yeah. Why can't you buy in privates on Campac? Just the timing didn't work. Yeah, uh, because the green phase only just opened up. It was after Campac. Wait, hang on. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Don't you have to float in green since we're in green phase? No, it just opens no. up that option. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh my god, that would be insane if you had to. Holy shit. Well, I thought that was the case, which is... Anyways, mm -hmm. it's fine. I was wrong. That's, uh... There, there's games that do that. It's not... This there one's are, not one of them. Yeah. Alright, I bought a... MP. Alright. So that baby floated. Baby's cool. floated... Uh, coming back to me, I'm assuming. I guess I'll go ahead and dump my MPs. At this point, you're just helping him by dropping those MPs in the bank pool. Well, maybe I drop one of. I don't know. I don't know what I. I don't know what I want them. No, I'm just. It's just interesting because, like, I'm looking at all these companies have all of these shares in the bank pool. Like that might actually be your saving grace, Garrick. Is all your companies are 40% in the bank pool, which means they're all going to still make money. That was certainly part of the plan. That's uh, sad. Yeah. Like, all these companies, yeah, all those companies he has are going to be making money for running. So, like, he might not actually have to worry about bankruptcy early on because they're just going to get more money. Yeah. I, I just don't know. Especially, how like, if they each get one three train, that's it. Like, like we have to go to six, uh, all up here to, like, yeah, I it's mean he's definitely them. he's definitely in a better position than I am. Uh, since I have, the I think same... he's in. I honestly think he's in one of the best positions. I think you're just. I think the rest of us are kind of semi equal, and you're just kind of in a bad position because of Campac. Well, Campac's and, not bad. and and getting ditched uh, on this, but yeah, yeah, that getting stuck with N NKP was was the bad part, and having the liability of all the two trains is. Not great because all those are going to get lost before I get run. At the very least, Camp Pack can buy a three train before. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Yeah, because there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine companies that want to buy three trains. That all right. One. I think my rampage has reached an end. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I'm going to dump one MP uh, and then goes back to Emu. You can pass and then I can pass. And that'll be the stock round. Look at this stack of companies all on 67. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's why I sold the two NYH so I could get to go after them. Yep. Makes sense. 
do we for this mod just for tonight do we need to be working top from top just so that we know which company's going next now that everything's open that might be the way to go we could we could flip the position of everything There, for whatever reason, there's a snap point on 67 and, like, nothing else. Well, it did make the stack pretty. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny to watch happen. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. That was so sad. All right. Flip this one, too? Uh uh, I already flipped that one. I already flipped that one. Okay. All right. We have right, two going. ORs to this stock round. At the end, I don't think anything... No, does, is CPR... No, CPR doesn't rise up. That was some voodoo weirdness. Chocolate blue. Uh, yeah, I don't think anything rises up. Uh, so, privates pay. Bam. And then the miner is up. Remember that's running trains? So that's a thing that's in this game. Did you know that? Wait, we, oh wait we're, we're playing not, trains, not I, stocks? I, 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 uh, that's not true. Um, how does I spend money? To bank. And I, I'm under the assumption that if uh, OS and H buys in um, C and P, it doesn't get the, there's like no, the, the two trains just like evaporates into the mist. Yeah, the CNP doesn't actually have a two train. It has a weird virtual two train. Understood. All right, so I'm going to run 70. Can I do that? Uh, how this works. We oh, are, sorry, six or 50. Yeah, 50. 50. I was going to say, we're not in I'm brown. I'm 50 because my brain doesn't work anymore. <laughs> <laughs> my brain stopped working a while ago. Yeah, that's fair. We can call this whenever, by the way. <laughs> hey, Garrick, I am glad that you floated the one that's potentially not going to have a route for a while. And I won't have to buy a train for it. Yeah, I wasn't... I would have rather floated GT. Let me tell you. I just... Um... CMP is done. Yeah. All right. Let's go in order, starting with CPR. Uh, CPR is going to buy in uh, at least Champlain and St. Lawrence. Might just be that one. Always buy in someone else uh, later. But I actually need to lay this tile, so... Um, yeah, so we'll buy that in for 80. I want to try this again, but I don't think we're going to finish this. We are not finishing this. I mean, we could uh, agree to end the game. As per the rules. As per the rules. <laughs> Rule number... I will agree to end the game when you agree that Garrick loses for shenanigans. <laughs> uh, so I get this B24 Sorry. or B25 placement for free. Rule 9.1.1 .1 states, if all the players agree which one of them has already won the game, the game ends immediately, and that player mm. has won. Not quite the same. It's not quite the same. I'm sorry. Uh, I vote. I vote that we all agree that Hold Lily on. won. Yeah, I... I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I just, I just want to clarify something. It says it blocks B24, but I can place a free track tile on B25. There is no B25. Did it say that? B it does. Ha, ha, that's B twenty five is like somewhere. I'm gonna around guess here. it meant twenty six. It, it means B twenty four. Yeah, it means twenty four. It's an oh. error. It's just an error because 
Because the Lord is <laughs> mine. Why, why wouldn't there be an error there? I mean, yeah, it's just why. Why is this? Why is this mod? Why is this mod? Oh man, I'm so tempted to fix this up, but man, I I've got that's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, and I've got like three other mods I need to work on. A lot of work for a mod we're barely ever going to get to play. Right, we're not going to have uh, five players that often. Okay, uh, so this increases my route's income to 140. That's where it should have been this whole game if I had planned anything correctly. Uh, the invisible payout button. <laughs> <laughs> Which works now that the shares are programmed properly. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's not forget about that little. Uh, oh god. Joe was saying how he felt bad he didn't mention it to us because he knew it, that was a that was a fault. I saw that. I hadn't uh Yeah, I hadn't um, realized this one was Garrick. What's up? You didn't put these down. You're we right. all know it's 67, but you didn't put them down. You're right, thank you. You said it so seriously, I was like, oh shit, what did I do wrong? Like, it's irreparable. It's wrong. I will buy a three train, because otherwise I won't be able to run next round. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that's that's got to be what happens. What's the train limit at this point, too? It isn't three, I hope, is it's it? It's four in the green phase. Okay, that's good. It doesn't so go down to felt, three. I would have felt, felt really bad for Alan if it was three. Yeah, no, it doesn't go down to three until the brown phase. And okay. the train limit is four, correct? Yep. So I can't, like, buy over to give some money to another. Nope. That's fine. NKP's kind of crap anyways. Let's just keep it that way. <laughs> All right. Uh, camp pack's done. Did Next is OS and H. Ooh um, an actually good company. Just yes. Because I because I laid all the track for it. <laughs> I appreciate. It. Uh, I'm going to spend eighty to upgrade. Oh wait, I can't do that yet. I will buy. <laughs> no, I won't buy NCMP yet. Well, I, I don't know. Um, I kind of want it to run one more time before I do that. So did OSH uh, just will... hit withhold? Yeah, okay. I, I took, I took, I okay. took, I spent eighty, so I took it back. Got it, got it. Uh, I'm not doing that. So, well, first off, I'm not running because I don't think I'm, I'm. Oh, I guess I could upgrade something. I'm gonna upgrade this thing. Might as well. It's in front of me. Seems like a fun idea. I mean, why not? Yeah. Um, so we got some three trains. We got a lot of three trains. Dear Lord, why so many three trains? It's fine. <laughs> look at just look at the number of companies that need to buy a train. <laughs> That's true. Um, let me do some math here. Should have done this before. I apologize. Fine. Should buy three three trains. It's the right play. Uh, no, I'm definitely not buying three three trains. You're right. It needs to be uh, four. <laughs> See now, now you're talking my language. Um, I mean, if we're just playing into overall chaos, I'm gonna uh, buy two three trains. Actually, two. so here. Apparently, I'm buying five. Trains. If if you hard <laughs> buy three trains, just hear me mm -hmm. out. If you hard buy three trains, yes. Do other people bankrupt before it comes back to you? Probably not. They probably have better trains. Ah, uh, that's fair. <laughs> like, all of these companies have no problem buying anything. And this is the yeah, only I company guess... left left without trains. And these companies are fine, too. So... Yeah, all the way up to the sixes, you can always at least buy a six train of 670. So, yeah, you're right. So I, was I, just, will... I was just having silly thoughts. Good. Silly thoughts are, are the right type of thoughts to have right now. Oh, wait. Actually, wait. Let me, let me, wait, wait. 
Wait. Waiting. Might have. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. All right, I'm good. Okay. Uh, so who's up next? GT. Mm-hmm. GT uh, hasn't floated. Yeah, GT's not a real company. So MP. Uh, MP. <laughs> MP will uh fall back. Uh, Lily. Oh, Lily. I will I not lay. We yeah. won't lay any track or nothing. Thanks, Pat. Uh, you do no need problem. to lay your home station token at least. <laughs> Although it feels like you remembered just as I remembered. <laughs> we will do that because. If that's real. Oh. Would MP like to buy a train? No? Okay. I really think that'd be a bad idea. Y you have a point. Uh, PRR. Well, that's me. I think that's me, right? That's me. That's you. Uh, PRR is going to put its token down. For free. Um, PR, I think, just does that. PR can't run, but PR will buy a three train. Oh, my stupid tokens. Chill. Ch no. Here, I'll just turn snap off. Yeah, I got it. No. I... There. No more snapping. Thank you. All right, B and O is up. That's you, Pat. Oh, it's me again. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> That's me. Okay. You have um, to play the game. Too bad there's no curvy cities. They pay 80 and I'm buying a three train. And then don't forget to lay your station bank. token when you're done. Send tank. Yep. And then it's going to be B and M. <laughs> so rude. Oh, That's not right. That's not right. All right, Alan, B&M. All right. Uh, oh, it's up to B&M now? Yep. Is there a sense to thanks Emu, I appreciate full of you. <laughs> Dude. I can't help but feel that I've somehow wronged Emu and he's never going to speak to me again. I mean, not I yet. At... <laughs> I... Or does doing that just open up? Don't forget, B&M has the special double A if it so desires. Oh, it does, doesn't it? I actually might take it. That. Actually, I will take advantage of that. Hold on. Take that back. Are you gonna save? Are you gonna save me from my poor decision? I might have to. <laughs> Yeah, if I can just go ahead and make this not a thing, that's probably what I do. So, spend 80 plus 40, so what, 120 to lay that? Yep. Okay. There's a huh. spend. <clears throat> I will also yeah, it just means you can upgrade New York and uh this guy, right? 
No, the the double is only if you lay two oh, yellows. Oh, only for laying yellow. Yeah. Um, all right. Anyways, uh, B and M doesn't run. It moves back. Oh, oh I I didn't even know NYH had that. I will buy a. Oh, you have to spend the eighty to upgrade it. Yup. Yeah, I didn't notice that either. It's like that in Wait, did, we, as did well. someone just hit pay privates? Sure did. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Okay, just, we're, just okay. wait. We're gonna, be, just, yeah, 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 we're gonna okay. do it again. Yep. Just yep. don't worry about it. Yep. Just nobody <laughs> press it again. That might have been me because I was hovering my mouse over it and I don't remember clicking, but I must have. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Uh Boston Amen is done. Okay. Next up is NYC. NYC is me. Uh, NYC is going to drop its home token. Uh, NYC is going to go ahead and... play that. NYC is going to fall back. NYC is going to... Oh, something just loaded in. I... Something strange is happening here. <laughs> <laughs> is this an... Am oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Um, I love it. I love it. I'm saving that. We, we used that when we were playing uh, Cards Against Humanity to share who his cards are. <laughs> we passed around the Among Us. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> who put the cats Whoa, in the air? Hell? That wasn't me. I'm busy taking my turn. I don't. I don't know what what these shenanigans are. <laughs> Um, how hard? <laughs> it's a hardy back. How hard do I push trains? We have after this C and O and M C. <laughs> I know I sound guilty because I'm laughing, but I swear it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just zoomed out and I can literally see it happening and it's funny. Can't decide if five trains are good or bad. I think they're bad. I'm uh Yeah, I'm just gonna buy the one for NYC. We'll go on to C and O. You know, drops that there. C and O will pay some track there. C and O will not by train. It's fine. Uh, MC's up. MC. Gonna bring the hammer. Uh, do, do, do. Did NYNH go? Where is NYNH? It's underneath NW. It's it's one space to the left of all this. Oh. Huh. How? Because because I parted seventy one, then I sold two. Yeah. To drop. Oh. Okay. Sixty four. Because I wanted to be able to buy not in the threes. That seems totally fair. But I forgot about what you Two companies not account. buying, yeah. Uh, and then MC is yeah. going to buy a three train. Yeah, unfortunately, I think Garrick's going to get control over laying the tiles around New York. I will say I'm very glad the fives didn't get purchased before this moment, because because of the way everything fell, I get to ride my two train one time before it burns. Nice. Oh, it's true. Very nice. Uh, that's that's too nice. 
Eric. <laughs> I will flip this table so quick. No. MC's buying a five train. God damn it. <laughs> Shouldn't have said anything, Pat. I thought he was done, I'll be honest, when I said that, but yeah, that's it's... fair. You gotta fishy start taking moves. You gotta run the train before okay. you say anything. Okay. That's how we're playing. Okay, I'll remember this. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot well, learn the hard been, way, but I'll remember it. It's been this way the whole time. Did you not see what happened to me? <laughs> yeah, that's fair. All right, and now Norfolk and Western is up. Well, now I'm much more upset. <laughs> Emu. Um, no, Alan, I see your hand spawning that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I put the traitor uh, markers out. <laughs> <laughs> Something, you know, something's telling me that we're pretty close to calling this. I'm not sure what it is. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that. <laughs> Gotta have the banana. 30, 30, 10, 30, 30, 30. Okay, so that's uh, 90 for Norfolk. 30, 30, 30. Nice. Oops, that's for mine. I need to do our folks, not mine. Our folks. Wait, 30, 30, 30? Yep. There's right. a sub folks in the way. One, two, three. Oh, you're three. right. I'm being a dumb. I'm being a dumb. Being a dumb. I guess that's one way to put it. It is. All right. Are we... uh, I'm debating if I'm withholding or not. Sorry. That's okay. Take your time. Withhold, withhold. Yeah, I'm gonna withhold. Let's take from bank, correct? Withhold? Yes. Yep, that's the right call. Norfolk goes back. Uh, Norfolk's done. Oh, wait, I have 250. What am I saying? I'm not done. I'm buying a five train. Woo! All right, and then it's on to NYH. God, that feels yep. terrible to say. It's NYNH. I don't care what the game says. <laughs> NYH. Ooh. Ooh, that's me. That is you. You get to play the game. Ugh, this is my least favorite part of the game. Uh, creating Wait, piles is... isn't making the game, isn't playing the game. Is that the game? This is the game? <laughs> I thought we were just creating piles of things. Holy, oh, I just realized what was happening beneath me. <laughs> 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 Fine, I'm just spawning in hundreds of peeps. Cat peeps. Oh, I'm very oh sad no. that this TARDIS is not a bag. <laughs> it really <laughs> is. It should be a bag. So the programming involved would be too much. I recognize this, but there should be a microwave object in TTS. I should be able to put these into that, and they should explode. <laughs> Is n one H done? Ah, oh, it's in the middle of buying a train. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna do the dirty train buying. Look at that. Buying a, a solid, not bad train. And yeah, NY and H just fall back. And spends 250 on this little blue train. Okay. Uh, finally, NKP. Yay! <laughs> oh man, I don't even get to buy a 3 plus D after all that. Rude. Wait a minute, how does CNO, does CNO not lay track? Wait, how does CNO not have a train? It doesn't have a route. Uh, That's how. That's how. He angled it right. <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay. Because I put the sharp turn in that, it's just, he can just let it sit there. 
Which is really unfortunate, but what can you do? Uh, well, the answer to what can you do is this tile. Oh, I'm aware. Sorry, I touched that by accident, and now they're all going to... Oh, God. Nice. <laughs> oh, God. Shall that we get out the help. pirate cannon soon? <laughs> oh, that did, I was trying oh. All right, so I can lay an extra... Perfect. ...thing if I want. <laughs> It didn't work. Wait, what? <laughs> That's great. Nice. You might have to make the cannon bigger. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't really thought through NKP's term in the slightest. <laughs> I feel like that should have went further. Hey, there you go. It likes the banana. It does like the banana. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, okay. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> oh god. Do I have any fun stuff saved? I do. Guess we just let no two trains be able to force by a single five trains. Oh, like we have this that. Is, I feel like this is uh, just necessary <laughs> for this game. Yeah, it's not for any of us though. It's for the mod. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll just lay that. And we will fall back. Sad. Wait, why do I have the target? I'm not doing well. It wasn't me. Uh, but... You actually didn't save the cars. Uh, I, I would not expect to find these toys when you <laughs> acquire a copy of 1828. No. Chocolate blue. Uh, what, is, what is the game that comes with random things in it? Lots. Yeah, lots is the game you want if you want a box full of random things. Yes. Uh, CPR gets to go. No wait, uh, Peterborough. Don't don't and don't do. Pay yeah. We already did those. Yeah. Yep, I wasn't going. But Peterborough is up first. Oh, it is. Yep, yep. Because it's the private. Oh right. Train based. Oh, I don't know that you missed anything of value. You missed. Um. Oh the, yeah, here they are. You missed peeps everywhere. And RC cars that nobody is using. I know it's the Canadian Pacific Railroad, but why would they make a private that's also CPR? Essentially. I know it's only CP, but it's basically CPR. Because it's... it's fun. I think it probably CP got eaten into CPR. Like, uh, historically. Like in historic lore? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> lore. Lore. <laughs> it makes Dark it sound lore. better. Don't judge me. It makes it sound better. <laughs> I agree with you. Hey, Emu, you should use your numpad. Uh, Lily, are you done with your thing? My thing? Oh, is it me? Yeah, it's you! It's uh, the yeah, minor, it's it, private. It's, it's your oh, minor yeah, private. Da, 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 da. Um, <laughs> da, 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 da. I have. If I don't lay track, then... You don't run? 
Do I just not run? You can you can upgrade. Uh, you can up with it. Yeah, you can upgrade. Oh, you can't because it's eighty. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, the, those eighty costs. Nope, nope. I got it. Up? I got it. We're oh, being real lazy. Nice. We're being real lazy here. <laughs> nice. That's really good. <laughs> So you're running for 60. Mm-hmm. Payout. Yeah, I All think right. I think it. CPR is like legit worth way more than its base price. I had a suspicion that it's one of the yeah. ones that needs to be way overbid, uh, and we didn't. Well, it's mostly I mean, my fault. Uh, I would say almost entirely. <laughs> well, to be fair. I don't usually trust Emu to say what he's gonna do. <laughs> it's also fair. That that's fair. Or to fair. do what he's gonna say. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, I mean like, like Joe, I said, it didn't get bit up at all. Yeah, we we didn't we barely bit anything up. Like, barely mm -hmm. anything. I think one thing got bit up, and that was it. Lily, are you done with CNP? I am done with CNP. All right, Alan, CPR is officially up unless you've done it already. Uh, do uh. Wait, where'd my track tile go? I had gotten a track out. Oh, I put it away. I'm sorry. I forgot you were using it. Here you go. <laughs> I, I mean, saw I a track tile in the middle of the fucking... <laughs> could have just gotten a new one, I guess, but... What? What is happening? Uh, anyways, I run for 80. <laughs> oh, no. Guys! No! <laughs> Keep the cars off the track. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't sound right. I thought they were. I thought they were my trains. I was trying to run them. <laughs> oh lord! Oh, the title no. of this video is 1828 makes us lose our minds," right? Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Primer in play and you descent know, into madness. <laughs> gonna be an interesting recording oh. for sure. Uh. This question is, where do I buy in Schuylkill? Or, you know what? Do I buy this five train from NKP? Just let NKP keep free falling? Just gotta say, this is a lot better than taking a test in corporate taxation. <laughs> Is it though? Yes. Marginally. Marginally, yeah. There, there, that's that's accurate. There we go. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Oh, I forgot. Uh, I need to move to the right. And I'm sorry, I'm just debating on whether I buy trains and camp back or not. I think I don't. All right, moving on. Uh, OSA, OSNH. OSNH. Yep. Wow. Okay. Um. All right, I'm gonna buy in both the privates. Or I think it's three twenty. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um So does CNP close? How does this work? Yeah, when you buy in CNP, let me mm -hmm. gather a book so we do it exactly right. Um Yeah, that's kinda why I asked. Put on my serious hat for a second. Um We have one of those? Yeah, I, I leave it in storage most of the time. Oh, okay. If a share company buys the Coburg and Peterborough Railway. Uh, the treasury is transferred to the share company's treasury. 
The buying share company may replace the station with one of its unplaced station markers. Uh, it cannot have already placed a station marker in that operating round, and it will not be able to place one afterward. Uh, otherwise, replace it with a blocking station marker. Can't seem to... End, end, okay. Um, yeah, I want to replace that. Um, and then... Oh, that's actually really cool. You could like have anything else and just start there too. Yeah. Mm. That. Yeah, I want to do that. Okay, and then I got. Oh God, OBS updated. I forget when you're running a run, it doesn't need to touch one of your own cities, right? It just needs to be something you can access to. I'm confused by this question. Like you don't, I, I don't need to touch. Norfolk doesn't need to touch this node, right? It can, as long as I can uh, access it, as it does. As long as your it, route contains it has to have one a of your station. stations. Okay, perfect. It doesn't have to touch your home station. Got it. Um, that's kind of why I was slightly confused by the question. All right, uh, math <laughs> thirty, thirty, twenty. So that's eighty, forty, twenty, ten. There's only madness here, Joe. We've all got insane. Well, uh, that's 150 for paying out. Uh, that's why my numbers were not working. My numlock was off. I will pay out. And that's um, OS and H done. OK, on to GT. GT is still not a thing, so it's MP. No, is it MP? What, what is that space? It's 64? Yeah, so it's MP. Oh, MP? Uh, yeah, we're just going to fall on back. <laughs> <laughs> I MP. Nice knowing and you. We'll not you want, do you want to buy a train? I would not. <laughs> you don't want to buy a 3 plus D? I think they're, my, I think they're probably the best ones in the game. No. Joe, this is a difference between saying it's a 3.5 hour game and saying it's 3.5 hour first play. Those are very different things. That is very different. I don't think it's wrong to maybe say I think one. five. I also don't think this is a 3.5 hour game, if I'm being honest with you. It's, I think Five experienced <laughs> players could maybe knock it out in four and a half or five hours. I agree. Yeah, I think, yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah, it's definitely not a 3.5 hour game. Maybe it's a three and a half hour game if we rush companies and somebody bankrupts. I think it's really if like everyone knows what they're doing. Give us another well. turn or two. Looks like Garrett. Oh, um, Pierre R's up. Uh, that's Pat. That's you. Oh, yeah. what's what's up? Sorry, you're up. PRR. PRR. Yeah. Well, PRR only has one available move, or else it can't even run. So sorry. I realized people could be doing things while we were chattering. Ooh, that was <laughs> it's a twenty minute game. If everyone gives up and names someone the winner, <laughs> <laughs> I think we may not have the attention span for this many companies. I'm not gonna lie. He's got to build up the endurance. Uh, uh, PRR gets 2040. Ooh. PRR always feels so bad the turn it opens. Go. PR is done. Okay. Or actually. PRR paid out or it? withheld? PRR paid out. I think, right? That's what I did, right? I did that right? I don't know. I'm asking you. You're the one who did it. PR pays 40. Yes. There you go. I okay. It. I moved it right. Next up is B and O. I was debating if I wanted to buy a train, but that's okay. Oh, you can buy a train. You're, you're, you're also I... B and O, so you're, you have all the power. Oh, I'm both. Hey, I don't hey. think... One, two, three. I have a three already. I don't have any little dip. No, I'm fine. Okay. B and O? 
You know. You do have you do have one over at Jonestown. Johnstown. Johnston? What is this name? Johnstown. Yeah. That's why do I hate that so much? Jonestown. It's Jonestown. (laughs) (laughs) Oh lovely. So the one potential argument that you could make for Oh the you would need the the B not not that one. You want this one. Da, 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 da. Oh, it gets its own. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, what? Is no, it, it doesn't. Is is that Boston? No. Baltimore. It's not a B. Yeah, the, no the, the B's are game? gone. Boston no. is a double. Baltimore is a single, but Boston is a double. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No. Yeah, Baltimore is its own tile here. Got it. Yeah. Uh, what does Boston upgrade to? Okay, yeah, it's just the well, same, but it has two. What? Mm-hmm. That's not what I expected, but okay. Sure, I'll deal. That's actually really kind of shitty. Well, I mean, it's got better revenues, but it is a little weird with three spokes. Yeah, but I can't go through it like I thought I could. Mm. Oh, yeah. Well, once you upgrade to brown, you can. That's no. not true. No. It yeah. doesn't have the spoke anymore? No. I don't care about going through it that way. I can't have Norfolk go through it. Norfolk mm. has to go uh, around. Yeah, no. Unfortunately, no. But that's okay. Very unfortunate. No, that's okay. That is unfortunate, but that's okay. All right, so that's it for them. They get fifty one ten, right? Uh, five, eight, one ten. Yeah. Cool. Pay out. All right. Done. You know, moves over. B and M is up. Alan, as I recall. Yep. <laughs> There's so many companies that we don't know who's doing what. B and M just upgrades its home. Uh and then I need to think about So is my three train I can if I token here I can ninety but I'm already running for 100 if I just go to Montreal, so why waste the token? I think I just run to Montreal for 100 with the three... Tr- Pay out. Hilariously, b got Sixty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> is there really sixty in the bank? Jesus Christ! I blame poor decision making. Uh, B and M's gonna buy a three plus D. Um. For three fifty. Um that brings the train limit down to three now or two? Uh three. Yeah, brown phase is three. Does it make sense? To buy over a three train by this five train. I don't think it necessarily does. Uh, sorry, I'm just not me slow here. Someone's got to also, someone needs to buy in Google for this run so let's do that. 
So that's going to be 40. Okay. Being all done. I I think so. Uh, yes. Okay. Is done. NYC is going to do things as soon as I can find out where it is. Um. Oh, that's right. It's up here. It's up there. It. it can go to NY. What the heck's going on with that? Well, we did things and left that as an option for you. That's what happened. That just seems like silliness. Yeah. Well, let's lay a gentle. Sharp, sharp, sharp. <laughs> Straight into the dip. <laughs> um, NYC is going to run its three train for six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Um. Sure, it'll pay out. And then it's going to buy a 3 plus D train. So why wouldn't it? Rush the trains. End the game. Heck yeah. Uh, what happened to all the cats? Uh, someone deleted them. I don't know who. I did. All right, C&O's up. Oh, damn it. C&O. <laughs> um... Checking track tiles real quick. Oh. Buy that coal. What are these doing here? 205 and 206? What's up? I just noticed some track tiles I didn't realize existed. Is there a track roster for this game? I don't think I have one in my rule book. Ooh. Those are some uh, fancy greens. Yeah, I mean, they're I just basically was... just. Isn't it just basically like this without the extra line though? And it's only one city. Like the, yeah, the but one city is the big deal. Yeah, being able to block people out like that—that's that's not nothing. Ooh, I, I just don't... noticed there's brown K's. What? Brown X's? Interesting. I need to see a tile roster for this game. I need to see the upgrade trees. Uh, but anyway, in the meantime, where what is this track flying in the air for? Flying's for planes, not trains. We're going <laughs> to just go ahead and lay oop, lay one of these for one twenty. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> oop oop! It's got a coal marker that costs at one twenty. Send a bank. Uh, fails to run, falls back. Gonna buy a 3 plus D train. Look at that. So gross. <sighs> Love it when a plan comes together. Uh, MC's up next. He doesn't have enough money for a 3 plus D train. Well, that can't be. It's just not right. Um, well, let's buy over the three for. Uh, how much does it need? Pretty much the full 200, just about. But I'm really not a fan of how this is working out in favor. Well, it has it has its own problems. Uh, if we actually make it to diesels, you're 
in a tight spot, but I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Anyway, Michigan Central's up. Mission Central is going to go ahead and run or drop uh, one of Ooh, the hell. Did you <laughs> did you give Miss Michigan Central its money for the three train? Oh, uh, I gave it to the wrong company. Nope. That nope. that can't be right either. What the hell happened? You, you, you never gave it. I, I swear think. I typed it in. That's so weird. I must be going insane. Going? Unless I typed it into... No? I have no clue what no, happened. You, you transferred out 350, you transferred out 120. So the 170 never made... Yeah, you, I just you swear I typed it the in. 170 oh, no, wait, just, up here. There you go. Yeah. You got it. I just got it, yeah. Did you... Uh, did you what's up? Okay. Nothing. Okay. I'm just... Then that gentle, and then MC is gonna run for 110. Funny how everything's working out to be 110. I'll fix that. P paying out and buying a three plus D train. All right, N and W is up, or I guess N W. Yeah, I'm trying to see that's only worth another 60, and I don't think that's worth it. I'd rather set up the next turn. So we're going to do Yep, we're going to do that. I'm uh, going to run for 40, 50, uh, 90, plus another 80, so 170. And we're going to uh, withhold. Noise. Would you like to buy a train? No, I don't have the money. I didn't know if you wanted to cross buy or anything. Oh, no, I'm good. All right, NYH. Yay. <laughs> Oh shit, are we, we're in brown, aren't we? I didn't even think about yeah. that. We're all laying green track. <laughs> we're in we're in brown. I yeah. But uh, this this tile lay Wait, does, can, uh, does can you make not, sense you, for you, you can't skip in it, right? No, 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 no. Okay. I just like I, I just was sitting here just like, oh, when am I gonna be able to get into or try to get into New York? And then I was like, oh, now. I'm not getting you to New actu York. <laughs> you actually couldn't have because no, you no. just laid the gentle. Right. I was thinking like in the future, when am I when do I need to pay attention to maybe get a shot? And that's when I realized the, the shot was gone. It was yeah, it, it didn't exist because we were in brown already. Anyway. And why is running? Yeah, I realized I after withhold. After withhold? Yeah. Find a train? As the... Because I have to token Boston. Fair. Very fair. So. And I, I don't know if you have to token. I have to token Boston. <laughs> All right, did you adjust its stock price already? You did not. No, I have not. Um, so I'm going to run for 80, 90, 110, one. No, that's not, that's not going to be the best. Uh, 60, 80, 90, 15, 150. Yeah, that's the best. Withhold and then we'll spend three fifty to get a three D whatever it's called. Congratulations. All right. Uh, 
Lastly, the NKP. Yay! <laughs> Grab this. That. And... Seven. Don't forget we're running for brown values if that's relevant. So thirty so fifty. Out. And Right. And is that NKC? I think so. Sorry, yeah. NKP. Trick question. There is no NKC. <laughs> yep. All right. Uh, which means that's our operating round. Uh, and maybe the time to ask if everyone wants to call it, since it is 1.23 a.m. my time. Up, up to you yeah. guys. I'm falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's... I think so. I mean, I think we can pretty much call it for you, Garrick, because I don't see any breaking... What you've uh, I'm, I would beg to differ with what I but that's okay. No, I, I, I agree. I, I honestly, I'm in the position now where I made good money. Uh, I still probably can't defend all of my companies. I, I mean, that's Thailand that's probably. Most, yeah. yeah, actually, <laughs> that that's probably the biggest problem is that someone can potentially steal your high value company from you. But even if they didn't, I don't. Yeah, I guess that's the problem, is somebody could take your presidencies away. Yeah. I, I definitely feel like this is not a game we can call at this point, um, no. unfortunately. No, no I don't there's think so many people that are in play. On. Not to mention New York's about to explode for Emu. He's about to get the double New York on Brown. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right? Yeah. Like, there's a with, lot With the train up. that doubles the value. Yeah. Of yeah, Emu's about yeah. to, you know, explode in value. Lily has a ton of capital. What do you capital. mean doubles the value of it? Huh? The three plus I mean, Vs, they run for double the revenue centers they hit. Mm -hmm. I mean, oh. I, don't know, I don't know if this would have been a terrible thing I didn't thing realize that. I thought do. the plus D meant that they... I misunderstood what that did. But I... Like, my plan was to combine Campac and B&M and then I'd get to put the brown on the NY token it and I'd be running it with a three plus D as well, but... Hey, that you know that might that might work for you too. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know like the shape of the game enough to be able to predict who yeah. would have won. Yeah, I definitely feel like it's something we'll have to revisit again whenever we have five people. Now that I think we're all kind of seeing what the possibilities are. Yeah, because yeah, like yeah. I, I was about to get Norfolk to go to New York. Actually, I think I think I I, I, I wonder I wonder what a more normal playthrough of this looks like where we we intentionally force float each other in the beginning and we don't have one player who just has so much cash that they don't know what to do with it in the middle <laughs> yeah well that is the story for next time yeah so what are they are the well, I guess there's only two right there's only two we didn't use just okay so Do none what? of like the none of the like these ones up here are included in the correct thing. Interesting. It's basically everything else. So it's like all like the not. I mean, obviously, like some of these. Obviously, like these are in 1830, but like some of these ones out here are just included in this. Yeah. Part. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, some of them just seem. Really bad. Like this one seems bad. Louisville. Uh, so I don't know. I feel like Louisville opened relatively early. Could kind of control the Chicago to West Loop. Yeah, I, I mean, mean, I guess if you get like these three working in tandem, I guess you could probably explode this corner. I mean, Louisville gets to Chicago in two track lays, and that's that's a 
46, 40, 20 run for 60 at this turn one. I mean, guess that's first fair. run. Yeah. You can leverage that I up mean, into I... Cleveland or maybe head down for the coal fields or like uh, Alan was saying, maybe go into the West. Oh, that was big thunder. Well, actually, yeah, maybe coal fields makes even more sense because you're less likely to get cut off by these other two companies. I mean, I guess, unless you get all three. Like, I had this entire corner all to myself down here. It's true. I had all three of them. Like, if you can control all three of them, yeah. you could probably explode this corner. Like, I like said we're done. Like, I just hit this. I was about to potentially get 70%. Of, I was going to get 70% no matter what. Yeah. Um, and then I was going to be running for, like, 200-some, if not more, and just basically making... I was doing the same thing as I did last time. I wanted to try it again. We, we were all going to make a ton of money, and I have no yeah. clue who was going to, you know, get the yeah. best position out of it. <laughs> so it's yeah. it's really hard to say like with the brown upgrade on new york and doubling it with the 3d i would have been hitting 80 80 plus 10 is so uh 17 340 off of just the 3d train then yeah. another 80 10 20 coming off this way and then the uh, the other three train probably just goes up to montreal again i don't know so i mean i probably my next run was probably going to be above 400, probably close to above 500. Well, I mean, I just, the, the 3D yeah. would include this. Would include uh, the 20, the 10, well, the, this. Oh, you're right, it, as it this. goes through. Well, like, I don't the, even know I if I would realize, want it to go through, though. I didn't well, but I mean, it doubles 3D. these, right? I'm well, but then you, can't hit, then you can't triple hit New York is the downside. Although, yeah, actually, I guess I wouldn't have been able to do it the first track lay because uh, reading Allentown hasn't been laid yet, but still. I mean, I, I think you and I were both set up for insane New York runs. That 3D yeah. on New York is incredibly consequential. Yeah. God, the fact that it doubles the whole run, like, it'd be fun. I I originally was thinking it was like the two T trains in th in thirty four, mm -hmm. but yeah, oh my gosh, that is yeah. Because like, whenever he placed this, I was really excited because I was like, I just had to get where was it? This one. I was gonna do not that yeah. one, but I was gonna like do Ocean Anigans and basically just end up like running all the way through New York with Norfolk yeah. with seventy to eighty percent of the company. And just be making bank for myself through that. I just didn't realize, though, that these gave double. I missed. I did not hear that during the explanation that these gave double for every. Thing yeah, we went it's through. it's crazy, and it's not what you would think from the the like the the label three plus D. That doesn't convey yeah. double everything. I thought someone it was three, but these were free, like the dots. That's what I thought I heard. It's yeah. it's both. You can hit any number of dots and three revenue centers, and it doubles everything. It's it's nuts. Oh, it did that plus the double. I did not realize that. Yeah. Okay. I almost Jesus. wonder, like, whoever gets cut out of the three plus D almost has to rush diesels, but there's the train cost gets so high that I just don't know that's, how you do it. Yeah, that's, I mean, see, that's why I didn't buy any on both of my. I thought I didn't realize how good. I'm like, why are you guys buying them? They don't seem that good. And then when you guys said they double, I'm like, oh, yeah, I should have been buying them. Yeah, no, they're really they're really powerful. I will say this tile change is so consequential for both Campac and Boston. Yeah, it completely like, opens up that part insane. of the map. And the fact that this is a that this is a run through. Yeah. Like if camp it probably yeah. should never happen. Like NYNH probably always should be able to token here. But I do wonder if Campac ever gets to token this how what the long-term implication of that is although i guess i don't know new york might be more concerned about making the new york I mean, blue this is another one of those though what if you had this and then you merged it with boston and then all of a sudden montreal goes through that yeah. naturally right i mean that's, that's what i was that's what i was planning on doing in the following stock round like this is why i ended up not not purchasing yeah. trains over with campac i figured if it just has the three train, that's fine, because I'll just merge the two companies and that'll fix my liability problem. 
while also giving me the run through. Like, that's the thing. If I ever get a diesel with this track layout, like that's oh, a God. stupid. Yeah, that's a stupid diesel run. That is a stupid run. Like from the ooh, all oh, you can't go to the ooh. Pittsburgh all the way. Or Peter well, Burrow, I mean, eventually, eventually, you just lay this, or you go around it, or even just go to Canada. Well, still, cares? even yeah, like there's still such a big amount. Like, like you can just keep growing that too. Yeah, especially if you have the merger and you have the extra tokens to go with it. Like, yeah, you can literally go from like New York all the way around the all the way around the map. That's that was the thought when when Garrick created the opening to take Boston and Maine. I was like, well, shit, I gotta like. I didn't no, yeah. want to sell down my shares to do it. I mean, but I felt that's like, like I, what last week, whenever you you basically gave me that company for free, I was like, okay, cool. Yeah, and that worked out. I think I'm still. This is partially why I'm not very good at 1830, and I think I might have the same issue with this. Is just that, like, figuring out when there are so many options like figuring out what the optimal play is can sometimes be a little diff like difficult in terms of like stock manipulation i'm more good at the train operating mm -hmm. stuff and i still enjoy the stock manipulation stuff i'm just not as good at it it's probably why i like 36 as much as i do is because like you know mostly it's kind of a just run trains kind of there's a it lot of running trains. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not that I just like that element of things. I just never feel like I know what I'm doing. Yeah, this is it's an interesting one. It's an interesting one. Definitely, definitely see some mistakes in hindsight. I'm, I'm very curious to play it again at some point. But, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But yeah. Thanks, y'all. Uh, thanks everyone for playing. Thanks everyone for watching. We'll uh, be back with more trains next Tuesday. So uh, we'll see you then. Till then, have a great one. Great evening. Catch you later.